Well, welcome to series two. Uh, I'm Chris Barry. I'm Craig Charles. I'm Norman Lovett. And I'm Danny John Jules. And we're going to uh, share with you our memories of, uh, of, I think, a fine series. They're all fine series, of course, but uh, series two, just particularly for me, has certain episodes that were just yeah. magical. I have to agree Speak with Speak for yourself, Chris. Danny, what do you mean? No. <laughs> uh, series two. Was you made ser- the magical. Series, series two was where it really series. went um, good, it I took- think. It caught took fire. Off. It caught it took fire. Off. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Is this series two of Red Dwarf we're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> series two of Red Dwarf. It took off. <laughs> even though. <laughs> Fools and horses. Even though the, the model ships never did. The model ships. That they is, they never took that off, that did they? They were sort of pulled one. up with um, Fred or something. Crichton? Oh, Crichton. No, Crichton. This is the one with David Ross, though, rather than Robert Owen, isn't it? Yeah. The, yeah, the yeah, original Crichton. The original Crichton. Three million years from Earth. Hey, and you're, you're, not, you're not pixelated anymore. See? Pro- proper face now, mate. Uh-huh. Yeah. Reality. You've still got a bit of a Bobby Charlton going on up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a paintbrush, isn't it? <laughs> what is it on the top it's of your head? It's just a little now? island. What is it, though? It's a hair it's island. It's like hair. There's a few little estuaries just leave, at the top there. Leave it doesn't look like hair. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. That's a line you used to do in your stand-up, isn't it? Hey. No yeah. man is an island, but he is when he's in the bath or something, isn't it? No man's an island except when he's having a bath. Uh, and this right. is one of the early superb <laughs> Is that the shots? one with just the one palm tree on it? I like that um, model <laughs> shot, actually. Mm. <laughs> Very <good>. Shut up, <laughs> Daddy. Shut up. <laughs> this is only episode one. Yeah, but you the one who started it. No man is an island. The Nova Five. Oh, this is good, this bit. I spent the night with Gary. You ex-husband Gary? It's Tony Slattery doing the voice, isn't it? Yeah. Before he went on to be on everything. What about Brooke Jr.? He isn't your android. (laughs) He isn't your android. (laughs) That was good. That was very good, wasn't it? Hey, wasn't that that gag there with, um, what's his name? Um, there he oh, is. look at the makeup on that. Oh, and there's an early Gwendolyn, the yeah. first mask. What, what I mean. was that? That was a, there was something there with it's that Kylie Gwendolyn, wasn't it? Yeah, Kylie Gwendolyn. What yeah. was the Kylie Gwendolyn gag then? It was based on um, it based on some executive or something. Gareth Gwendolyn. Gareth. You said, said it would, said it would never wear because there was no French sofas. Yeah. And there was no he sofas wanted, or French yeah, windows yeah. on the ship. Wait a minute, I know this one. Oh, look, there's Chris trying to pull Joanna Hargreaves. Have you noticed that there's, like, a, a lot more colour in it now, Chris? Mm. This was the introduction of the banana, wasn't it? Well, yeah, the yellow banana, cos we said that we wanted more colour. Well, the first series perceived as being <laughs> too grey. Too, too grey, yeah. And the sink's kind of changed. Big silver, fancy, yeah, big silver space agey sink. sink. There's the banana. I mean, the greys, a uh, modern grey. Now, now, those, those rivets have got <laughs> sort of blue, haven't they? Yeah, they've kind of been uh, highlighted. Well, the yellow banana certainly stuffs Actually, you two in this scene, one of those scene, rivets has been overpainted. Do you think so? I think the banana steals this scene, actually. In fact, you're right. <laughs> Chris looks like one a of those lamb. rivets has been, uh, been oh, overpainted. There's the leg of lamb. The bob haircut suits her. <laughs> What's the lady's name? <laughs> Johanna... Joanna Hargreaves. Hargreaves. And that pipe's blue. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, see, the banana. And always. have you noticed the polishing acting I've been doing on the handlebar? You can yeah. see it's starting yeah. to pay off now. Yeah, yeah. it's actually yeah. getting more matte as you polish. That's it, it's getting more matte, mate. I'm, I'm dating it. Yeah, the acting's... Yeah, look. Look, see, I'm oh, dating it. Look, method. I love it. Method, method. He's polishing a matte finish into that. In rehearsals, you were polishing away, weren't you, all week? You have to, mate, you know what I mean? The joke is, it's the other handle that's shiny. You've got to start look. living the part, you know? Look, it's the other handle that's shiny. I've obviously finished that one, yeah, haven't I? have done, done that one. Yeah. Done that one. Yeah. Moving on to the second one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's good method, Chris, isn't it? Good method. Some of the best lines, actually, are in this, though, you know? I mean, this second series had some great comedy mm. lines, you know? I agree. Yeah. It's a shame Norman stepped all over him, isn't it? <laughs> I had some classic bits that were just squashed. Remember my first ever scene, Norm? No, I can't that remember, Danny, I can't remember. You Don't blew it, you blew it. Did I? You I did it on love. purpose. Yeah, I did it on purpose. Yeah, you did it on purpose, man. That's the sort of guy I am. It's good, though. <laughs> got bigger laughs second time around. <laughs> I see the way you pl- place the space bike thing in there for a bit later on, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, it's all very well thought out with the lads, isn't it, eh? Bit of sort of, yeah, a bit... 
buzzy, the sort of uh, the texture on the screen this this time. Mm. And then Norman's humanised. Well, yeah, no yeah. pixels. No pixels. Now we can really see what he's got on the top of his head. And it looks like a a paintbrush that has been combed. <laughs> see, look, there it is. It's definitely going from left to right. We've got a Bobby Charlton. I'm performing well here. It's good. Everyone's performing. Good to focus. Full steam. Because you're bored, isn't it? That's why you're both annoying me. And it's a long scene, this, isn't it? Really yeah, it's a long scene. Very long. Great writing, great totally performance. Revolutionised music. Get out of town. Yeah, I've decimalised it. <laughs> no, yeah, classic. The octave, it's a decadent. And I've invented two new notes, H and J. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Didn't I just invent new notes? Well, I have. <laughs> now it goes do, re, mi, fa, so, la, wo, bo, ti, do. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, he's, read, he's reading that off the screen like a fool. <laughs> doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Still, still you're a master of the autocue, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I would never have thought you were reading it. Yeah. You can see my eyes go up. Yeah, but that was like in I deep thought, to, wasn't it? I had to read that. Yeah, was it written on top of the screen? I think so. I think it, it, was it wasn't actually written on the screen. It was written on top, on the, on the, the card at hard the surround, yeah. It's on the cameraman's head. Shut up. Oh, I forgot. I haven't told you the news. What news? <laughs> A signal. We're getting a signal. It's probably nothing, but I just thought I'd mention it. Aliens. Oh, it's the aliens again. Uh, oh, the old oh, classic. <laughs> he seems to have lost that fixation in the later series. Maybe just decided. Quigar. Quigar. I guess there's been a lot happening in some of the other series yeah. that you. Uh, there's a diversion, but. Who did? <laughs> aliens used our bog roll. <laughs> <laughs> Make a green t shirt, though, actually. Doesn't mean to say they don't have to visit the little boys' room. <laughs> Although they probably do something weird and alien esque, like it comes out of the top of their heads or something. <laughs> <laughs> you and Eddie Corpse in there. <laughs> For a change. <laughs> now, I, that line got a laugh, but I never know why, uh, why it did. I never John Pomfrey getting out the gels yeah. for this one. This is filmed up at the, in the guards, like uh, uh, the, the gantry, gantry yeah. which, which, um, is, which right is right at the top allowed. of the BBC studios. And actually, we weren't supposed to be up here. Uh, but, but it looks great. But Doug discovered it. It wanted to do it because it made it look a bit more realistic, you know. Look at that! All sorts of colour going on. Look at on that there. jacket in the background, but look at the foreground. It's Military like, grey, sir. It's like an so it's amusement not arcade. It's no, fantastic. So it's not aliens, then. <laughs> well, we had to have some grey in there somewhere. Oh, I, I, but it, it gives it a bit of depth now, doesn't it? Yeah. The whole picture. This is a classic. Fresh and dehydrated. Oh, the milk. What are we using now? We can Emergency see. backup supply. We're on the dog's milk. <laughs> One of the biggest laughs in the in the old rain. That is full of goodness, full of vitamins, full of marabone jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Lasts longer than any other type of milk. Dog's milk. Why? Boom. No bugger a drink it. <laughs> Boom. Boom. No, no, what the Boom. Well. The classic that's yeah. that's in exocet missile. God, I was good, wasn't I? <laughs> 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 uh, why didn't you tell me, Holly? Great writing. What, can spoil your tea? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Hang classic on, scene, that. Thank you, Holt. Thank you know, goodness. don't come funnier than that. Well, he was, wow, he was great. Had a accident. The, she never really got the ears right on this uh, mask, did they? Oh, of course, that changed, didn't it? It all went yeah. flat, remember? Uh, the mask yeah. well, is light years away from the current ones. Yeah. yeah. How many? Three. Miss Jane, Miss Tracy and Miss Anne. I'm transmitting medical details. Tell them we're coming to board. <laughs> By God, we'll rescue these fair blooms, or my name's not Captain A.J. Rimmer, space adventurer. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. <laughs> space adventurer? What am I supposed to say? Fear not, I'm the bloke who used to clean the gunk out of the chicken soup machine. <laughs> There's more ham there than the whole of babe. It's dripping <laughs> off of him. Look. Salad sauce, <laughs> Italian dressing. I like to put it on in huge, great shovelfuls. <laughs> Dollops of salad, sir. I don't mince about with spoonfuls. <laughs> First in the show. It was amazing the way you glided back, back there. Oh, and the idea that the cat's got six nipples. Go. We're on a mission of mercy. We're taking them urgently needed medical supplies. We're not on the pull. I mean, here we are. I would say somewhere around 
nine minutes and 54 seconds. And yet it was a, a big green light for Ham City, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. On the pickup. Uh, yeah. uh, for another famous scene. Look at this. <laughs> oh, smell of my socks. That's oh. not good. Beat out some crusty socks. I couldn't get, you'll, you'll see that I couldn't uh, get my. Um, the socks and the boots on my feet in time, so... That sock was meant to stand up when you... Yeah, it was, meant to, it was meant to be um, uh, it's greatly great stiff. Great prop, that was, wasn't it? It's totally starched. <laughs> no, but when you're doing it, you've got to go This for is it. good for me now to see all this and hear you talking about this because I was stuck away in the corner of uh, the studio. Rightly so, no. Oh, you see, I haven't got the sock on properly there. See, it's yeah. only half, half the foot, but... I remember. Oh, oh God, hey, a little means. bit, little bit of pelvis. <laughs> <got there. laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I remember this. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, that is just. <laughs> it's the kind of stuff Man you of do as a kid, that, though, you right? know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, we're not on the pool, are we, Lister? Look at you, absolutely pathetic. You're really trying, aren't you? You're wearing all your least smeggy things. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. That T-shirt, Lister, with only two curry <laughs> stains you. on the front. You only so I guess we really stuff. did, yeah. Oh, this you're a gentleman, so. sir. This was it, you know? You're toughed up to the nines. <laughs> But that is a hell of an outfit, isn't it? It is, mate. Look at it. Look how many bloody... What's it called on, on, the, on the old sleeve? The, the braid, gold. the gold but braid. These days, if you were going to pick someone up in a, I don't know, a wine bar, you know, a bar at, or something... You, you, mind you, know, you, mind you would not really wear that, would you? You wouldn't, mate. That no. Well, not by right, the dock, sir. <laughs> Judging by, by <laughs> all your, your, your sort of gold and <laughs> glint and Maybe stuff, you be the king of wine wear. Give me a big... <laughs> To Titan Zoo, and you said, Ooh, he's taking you home to meet his mum already. <laughs> so, oh, no, that's the shelf. Yes, one. at me, at oh, no yeah. expense. Just don't put me down when we meet them. Okay, what do you want me to say? How do you want me to act? I don't know, just act with respect. For a start, don't call me Rimmer. Uh, a few classics coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some lines. You always put the some emphasis on rim episode, in Rimmer. Actually. Makes me sound like a lavatory disinfectant. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want me to call you, Rimmer? <laughs> I don't know, um, Arnie, oh. Arn. <laughs> Uh, something a little bit more... Uh, I don't know, how about... Big Man? <laughs> <laughs> big Man? Sorry, <laughs> I like. Or what about the nickname I had at school? What, Bonehead? <laughs> <laughs> how did you know my nickname was Bonehead? <laughs> I was only guessing. I didn't mean that, I, I meant the other one. What other one? Ace. <laughs> Get out of town! I think that was the uh, safety of the birth of Ace Rimmer there. Yeah. Get out of Ace town was a Craig line. Craig. You should look at different ways of saying, behave yourself. Yeah. They never call me it, despite how many times I let them beat me up. <laughs> what are you trying to say to me, Rimmer? I'm trying to say, build me up, don't put me down. Like? Like, if the opportunity occurs and it crops up naturally in conversation, <laughs> you could perhaps mention that I'm very brave. Do what? <laughs> all these carefully set up oh, for that scene. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's all craft, craftsmanship. Craft so a sentimental scene was I mean, in fact know, a sort of sympathy for Rimmer. Yeah. But in fact it was the fuel for big right, bellies, yeah, big woofers in the bank of comedy for later on. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Uh, they just don't go, not with that lot. I, you should wear your I think they wear my cowboy boots actually. You said they were disgusting. Have you still got one? No, yeah. I've still got them. I wore them the other day, actually. Apparently, cowboy boots are coming back in now. <laughs> so, yeah, they are, aren't they? Cowboy oh, but the new kind of cowboy boots. Oh, no, oh. no, the old-fashioned ones with the Cuban heel, sir. Yeah. Cuban heel. Right. They really look terrific on you, I'd wear them. Honest. <laughs> oh, they're the orange boots. And these orange boots actually did stink. <laughs> They were nylon. We had nylon fair inside, and you wore them under the lights for the whole day. I remember taking them off, and you could smell them down the corridor of the hotel room. Oh, rotten. <gasps> Miss Jane. There we go. <laughs> It's nice the way the reveal is done before it's it, before yeah. we've seen it, you know, yes. so the audience know what we're going to see. Yeah. Um, so then our reaction, so it gives our lines yeah, a load of breath. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It sort of heightens their anticipation of. Uh... No wonder you're beginning to look so pasty. <laughs> Couldn't even see the twine there, could you, eh? That was a Peter Rag special, that boy. I'll tell you what. 
That Bachelor of Science Jesus. certificate came in handy there. No. You look absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, there they were. You could oh, they almost smell no, no, now. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> What's that smell? I can't smell anything. Are you OK? Your eyes are watering. <laughs> it's the excitement. Look, we can't wait for the cat. Let's just go. Oh, come on. He's been preparing for a day and a night. <laughs> Do you want to see the result? What's that book? I'm reading, I'm reading a chap kid's sort of children's book. Away from me! Oh, look at that. Uh, an old matted special effect that looks a bit uh, dodgy there. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I wasn't even yet. cruising in that. You can't, see the, you can't see the little man walking towards the ship. It's the atmosphere, mate. <laughs> I it myself. I didn't want to muss up my hair. <laughs> hey, listen. We just got the hair's kind of changed a bit in this, done, hasn't it? It's the original hair, man. Is it? Looks a bit more... It looks higher. Yeah. All right. Everybody ready? Ah! Let's go, then. <laughs> oh what? no, Bobby oh. Charlton. Man, why are you wearing a toupee? <laughs> what toupee? <laughs> you know, you know, Whose head's that then? Your head. Like Bob Monkhouse. Makes you look like a game show host. <laughs> there you go. With everyone, three million years without a woman, and you act as if you're all fourteen years old. Oh yeah, what about you and the socks? What socks? What's the look Come down on, we got to look like? Come on, we got to Two pairs of socks. What for? One pair to put on his feet, and the other pair to roll up and put down his trousers. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. That was a moment in history. I remember we told yeah. Howard, we, we said something to Howard about the music and all that. We wanted the music to be a bit more rocky and all that. We noticed the music's a bit more rocky in this series. Yeah. Well, that's more... Come in, come in. Yeah. Oh, Howard Goodall, right? Yeah. I thought you meant Howard Burden, in which case you'd be talking to the wrong person. Exactly, and it would have been a, a, a series too early. Because <laughs> as you can see in this series, we still haven't discovered leather or anything. Although uh, Dave's got a little bit of PVC. Mm. Well, PVC, which of course is... Uh... This got such a big laugh, if I remember. You're going to have to help me, man. I couldn't get away from the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Got a round of applause. applause. Yeah. Hey, look. You know? Hey? Right. Right. Could be the first <laughs> one. There's some dodgy audiences around, Dan. No, don't get jealous, <laughs> boy. Come again? You speak Esperanto, Captain River. Oh, si, 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 amor, oui. Si, si, amor, oui. Oh, dear. Well, yeah, they are. Watch the look. What's the, what's just two? Look. Uh -huh. Classic look. Right. Look, there you go. Look, disappointment regged the all over the face there, especially the nostrils. You know, I detected a little bit of soft focus right at the end of that shot. <laughs> Might have been. Might, Might have been. been. Isn't it ace? Well, but we can't redo it. Anybody <laughs> going to say hello? I think the blonde one's giving you the eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I leave you to get acquainted. I'll just go and fix some tea. He's mad in here <laughs> as a hatter. Hi, baby. I don't believe this. Be strong, big man. <laughs> Our first contact with intelligent life in three million and two years, and it's the android version of Norman Bates. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, so they're a little on the skinny side. <laughs> Listen, girls, I don't know whether it's the time or place to say this, but my mate AC here is incredibly, credibly brave. <laughs> Dripping with sarcasm, sir. Incredibly, credibly brave. Yeah. <laughs> Clever the way he left out the second in. And he's got just tons and tons of girlfriends. <laughs> I'm warning you, Lister. I love the suit, though, Dan. It's a gold suit. The cat was supposed to have made that himself. Yeah. He's very good with a needle and thread. Anything the matter? <laughs> Anything the matter? They're Were we dead. taking you on the ship with us on watches at all, if like this at this stage? No, I, I think I didn't was have your mobile to, unit yet. I was you? saying, why can't I come? I want to come. And yeah. they said, you can't. Well, I was only away. Yeah, it's it's one of us no watch. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't do it. So We got there by the Queeg in this series. Yeah. Yeah. We had a monitor just got a big woofer on, on our behalf there. Yeah. Big, yes. big woofer. What did, I missed it. Uh, I, I would have... What? I've only been, been gone for ten minutes. Yeah. You've only got to look at them. They've got less meat on them than a chicken nugget. Did you notice the time? Uh, the thing had to be taken out there, mm, mm. you know, for legal reasons. Programmed to serve them. I think the first thing we should do is bury them. <laughs> You're that sure they're dead? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what about 
about this one? <laughs> uh, there's a simple test. It was, um, all right, girls. It was, he was a right lovey, wasn't he, David Ross? I remember? Yeah. Oh, I, God. Do you remember when he jumped on the table, Chris? Oh, um, I did. In rehearsals. I'm saying, come on, because we were all sort of messing around, like yeah. being as uh, professional as we would normally were. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. And, and he jumped on the table and said, come on, come on, we'll, can we finish this scene? I have to go home and all this. Guy. He was so... Uh, got a train to catch, darling. But do you remember at, at lunch that matter. time he said to me, were, were you, are you well, legit? Are you legit? Mm. And I said, yeah, I've got a mother and father. Uh, but he yeah. was said, are no, you he legit? No, he meant, were you a thesp? A thesp. Because by that time, by that time, we'd already been brought into his fold, the three of us. But I we was... were we were we were at the arts club with him, more or less. In, our, in, in you know, mental. I was a taken back. You weren't you weren't being allowed in the arts club, were you? No. I, c I tell you, it's um it's strange because we did try, we did try and get him for the um to play Crichton uh, for mm. the third series as well. We wanted to bring him back, um and uh, he couldn't do it because he was filming the, uh, the second oh. series of Boys from the Black stuff or something like that. And couldn't well, do it. No, it was just that we weren't legit, man. <laughs> uh, we weren't legit. He said series three with a bunch of illegitimate actors. Illegitimate, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So Robert didn't mind that. He said he didn't mind, actors. you know, Chris, Craig, and Danny, but he was refusing to work with Norm. Yeah, but I wasn't there in the third, so he could have done it, you know. <laughs> What is that thing there? Is it a readout? Or... No, the thing on his yeah, left. Look, was look like at his some... reaction from... Oh, look, look, yeah. look, look, look. That's it. You oh. can't buy reactions like that. Now, where's that film? Because no, that's case. like a warehouse or something. That was, in, Albert that, was in, that was in Liverpool Docks, mate. Yeah. Oh, that's right, I filmed an Albert Dock in Liverpool. And I, I, I thought I'm supposed to forget everything. No, I'm, I'm you know... What the hell is going on? <sighs> Good afternoon, Mr. Davidson. Oh, yes. What are these? Oh, I remember Your boxer this, shorts, yeah. Mr. Davidson. No way are these my boxes. See, even, even the way he went and got sort of slightly grey wallpaper as well. Mm, <laughs> the curtains are slightly grey as well. It's <laughs> a Montague everything? special. Where's my coffee cup with the mould in it? <laughs> I threw it away, sir. Wasn't this was like that mold? sort of <laughs> Laura <laughs> Ashley kind of? Send up. She, 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 yeah, because she, yeah. she, you know, poor lass, hadn't she just fallen down the stairs Who? and kicked the bucket, Laura Ashley? Just like if this was being done. That's a fact that I'm afraid it was beyond me, sir. What, Danny, you lost me on that. It's yeah. true. I didn't know. It is true. Myself. This is about the time when I thought she Laura fell down the stairs. I didn't know. Yeah. I thought if that is a, a yeah. real fact, that is a then... Danny John Jules showbiz fact. <laughs> <laughs> While we were filming this, Laura had just fallen down the stairs well, no one and told me kicked about the bucket. Uh, well, now you said that, I look forward to more uh, incredible facts that pick out each episode. Well, yes. You should do that book, Dan, you know, Danny John Jill's book of showbiz facts. Two pounds a shite in a one pound bag, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, what if you really should. Being asleep? Androids and being asleep? <laughs> Sounds like a crazy, fun-packed life you lead there, crying me, old son. <laughs> I have strange thoughts when I'm asleep. Yeah, they're called dreams. My favourite one is that I'm, I'm in a garden. I've never even seen a garden except in books. That's, that's the Where's the hat? music? There should be music now, bringing out yeah. the... Do you still wear that hat yeah. in some Led Zeppelin or something? Pardon? That hat, do you still wear it in yeah. current episodes? No. no, no, that hat went... If you remember, in th I got the big fairy one after that. That's right. It looked like Jamiroquai, before right. Jamiroquai was even... Apparently, Born. Jamiroquai <laughs> copied Lister's hat. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, it was a bit of a trendsetter. If you go, if you go round, uh, if you go round fairs and um, uh, gypsy sites uh, all over England and Ireland, they've all got Lister's haircut still now. All these rainbow yeah. travellers and all that. That's right. Arnold is my master now. Mr. Arnold is uh, his name. His name's Rimmer. Rimmer. Well, dinosaur breath or molecule mind. Molecule mind, oh Rare dear. occasion when you want to be like really mega polite to him, Crichton, we're talking mega polite. In those exceptional circumstances, you can call him arsehole. <laughs> I even knew the timing of that one. Hey, you know what I mean? Got to give it a bit of breath. Craig. <sighs> Got to give it some breath, mate. Yeah. There you go. Passage of time again, Chris. Yeah, passage of time, time but uh, the dwarf doesn't look that colourful in this shot, does it? Compared to the yeah. Sidon. Ah, well, but it's only because it comes to that now. Because the Sidon one is more super red. inside the ship. Uh, the red doesn't stick out so much when you wow, when you cut look, outside. Yeah. That's oh, colourful, yeah. Do you, do you keep that dating, Chris? Have you got it anywhere?
that wall sort of... No, that was on the yeah. special effects yeah. room wall. Oh, yes, Mr. Arnold, sir. You're a total Gwenlin, do you know that, Crichton? Oh, yes, Mr. David, sir. Yes, Mr. David, sir. Leave it alone, Lister. It enjoys doing the tasks I get. It. it makes it happy. <laughs> Drop dead, Rimmer. Already have done. Encore. <laughs> <laughs> you never get a cap to do that. Yeah. Hey. Hey. That is 80s. I tell you, mate. You threw the stick, you go get it yourself. To cut a long story short, he lost his mind. You wanted the stick so bad, why'd you throw it away in the first place? <laughs> Clayton, you never got to see that imaginary movies. person I was talking to, Norm. I watch movies. Mr. David. I feel that we're probably about 25 and a half minutes through the show. <laughs> and we are approaching a zenith. Yeah. All right. And I know what it is. It's the big push. It's the climax. It's the big push. doing me lapels. Well, now maybe you'll learn, Lister. There's a natural order to things in life. Some give orders. You frighteningly fit into that role, Very It's so frighteningly well, Chris. Yes. <laughs> I, I like that at home, actually. <laughs> but the kids haven't sort of, for <laughs> some reason, don't respond. <laughs> Excellent, Crichton. Ah. Oh, reaction shot. Face of thunder. Oh, no. Here we go. Nostrils on fire, there, Chris. Nostrils broadening to maximum. <laughs> what are you doing? I am. Um, I think I'm. Uh, I'm rebelling. <laughs> Rebelling? Almost caught. Yeah, You're yeah, yeah, nearly <laughs> corpse in there, aren't you? I think that's what I'm going. Hey, look at so this. So is he. Look yeah. at this, eh? Yes. He's what enjoying that. rebelling against? You're both enjoying it. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> See the warm mustache. Hey, Marla. Eat your heart out. He's enjoying that. That was actually proper tomato soup, wasn't it, as well? Molecule nine. <laughs> Good job we did that one in, in one take, wasn't it? Wouldn't want to set dress that again, would you? Or did we have to? Have I got a Probably. Kind of, have I got a kind of memory that we did this again? I think we did do it again. Did we? Yeah, I think we did it twice. Well, I'm a punk. And he's stealing the focus for the laugh there. See that? See that? I hammed him uh, out of it, mate. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's stealing the focus yeah. for the laugh. Oh, I just uh, told him, I yeah, said, listen, Danny was uh, getting on the David, there, boy. I said, when excellent. you leave, just le just let me carry on the old gag for excellent. you. Excellent. That was excellent, wasn't it? Very totally enjoyable. stole his last tag there. Tag. And the main billing for Norman Lovett. David Ross, right, right. John Hargreaves. Tony Slattery is the android. Tony Slattery. Yeah. Oh, Kelvin, Kelvin Jones. Jones. Oh, Anna Zal. Anna Zal. Anna. Anna Zal. Where's Melvin Cross now, eh? Oh, Mike Fallon. Peter Rag. Peter Rag. Peter Rag. Peter Rag. Donna Di Stefano. No, no, Di Stefano. Anna Stanna. Anna Stanna. Mike Agnew. Yeah. Jackie Pinks. Beth Ann Jones, Jones was on Beth board that time. John yeah. Pomfrey. John the Light Pomfrey. There's Montague. Paul J. Yeah. Paul Jackson. Oh, colour Montague. And a big bye. Eddie bye. Bye bye. A lot of paint and acting going on. Very good paint and acting. Lovely. Yeah. Before, Find the know. lens, Craig. Yes, you have my face there as well. It's just so you could make sure it was me. Do you know what I mean? Find yeah. the lens, mate. Now, I tell you, um, I, I remember having a lot of. Um, we had a lot of... Remember, we had, there, was, there was a bit of an atmosphere during this series as well, between, I suppose between me and you every now and again. We were in rehearsals, we used to get on each other's nerves and all that. Yeah. It's only because I was so That's immature because... as well, though. Uh, only in this series. <laughs> well, um, I, I think it was more... Um, it, it was, was more... Some, you, when you, you it was more pronounced. Audition, than, really. It was more pronounced. Young, we were series. in our 20s, we yeah. were hungry. Yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> I was 40. Norman, Norman, Norman was 40 and in goal. <laughs> True. There was a bit of cutting edge. He hated I it. Mean, yeah. cutting edge. There was almost laugh counting, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, he's got, he's got a laugh there. I haven't got a laugh. Why am I doing oh, the feed line? I he's getting I'll, a laugh. I'll, there was I'll, a lot of that going it on. It was highly competitive, but yeah. that, that was good. I think My laugh account was, was brimming over in this series. Well, you can tell we've all fought for the characters in a way as well, because all the characters are funny, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Well, it was, I think that was good we fought for, for the show. I think it was good for the show, I really do. And the writing was... We fought for the lens as well, didn't we? You got a little spot in the front of your forehead yeah, I've there. I've still no? got it. Have it? Actually, actually, my nose is straighter now. Do you have a look? So I have broke my nose and I had it reset. Yeah, did your nose reset? Didn't you? I just need the teeth doing now, don't I? <laughs> I had mine done. I guess. Yeah, I'd like. To. Let's have a look. Oh at your yeah. Nose. It's straighter. We can have a bit straighter. Yeah, straighter. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Craig looks like dental washer. Look at my teeth, man. 
Oh, my teeth are lovely since yeah. then. We could eat a big chip out in the front, wouldn't it? I tell you, yeah. I think the chip's still here. Okay, let's have a look, see if the chip's still here. Ah, oh, look at that. I like that. Oh, that. Look, now that is red. Spoonful for acute indigestion, take like two. So. Hey, bit of colour, blue bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's sloppiness. Well, I'm looking quite smart there in that black kind of dinner jacket, yeah? With a bit of style. You look like, <laughs> look like the chef off the Muppets in that, don't you? Is it the Muppets? <laughs> Proper dumplings, when they're properly cooked <laughs> to perfection, proper dumplings should not bounce. <laughs> but true, but compared to what I thought... So, of course, in this series, like, there is a difference yeah, in the audience so response, isn't there? Well, they're laughing now. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I mean, in series one, it, it, they didn't sort of laugh that much. They were surprised in awe. Well, particularly a lot of the character stuff in series one, you were thinking, oh, there should be a laugh there, but yeah. the audience was still... Like me, actually, it's just sort of yeah. wondering. Well, they know it. Is now. this funny? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think. How it, must this be being received? You know, the, the Catholics were. Uh, the, sorry, the Catholics. <laughs> the, the, um, <laughs> <laughs> what am I, what am I, uh, uh, the, the gags were. Uh, Don't get political. Catholics, man. The gags were better. Catholic and the characters. Uh, I, mean, I meant to say characters. Uh, the characters were. Uh, were establishing the audience's mind so they could sort of get along the character, the character laughs. True. And the gags were better as well, though. I mean, it was, I think it was much more strongly written, you know? Every, yeah. Everything was better. Overall, everything was better. Apart from you, know? The first... You know? Yes, all right. There's right. still people who say you that after... one is definitive. Mm. Yeah, well, then yeah, yeah. You always do, and that's the sort but of... there's some that's, weird people about That's because Norm was in <laughs> pixels then. All right. Now they can see him. You know, after you left Norm in series... After the end of series two, at the end of this series, did, did you watch Red Dwarf then? Three, four, five. Um, or could you, honest, or could you not? Be honest. Or yeah, could you not? Could you um, just stay, oh, I, I, honest, saw, I saw some of them. Yeah, I just saw. Uh, you know, I wasn't, that must have driven you. I wasn't mad. happy. I wasn't. Happy. I was good, no, wasn't I? No, I wasn't. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wouldn't get it. Yeah, we used to. We always I felt sad. I we felt we used to sad. speak about you all the time. I yeah, felt sad. You get. Uh, <laughs> I just wish, in a way, I just wish someone could have sorted it all out because I could have still been in it, you know, hey, right through. We, hey, Norm, we were, we were, we were behind you. I know, but a no one really got you. sorted it out. Someone could have sorted it out. I think, but there you go. Actually, Danny Remember, was quite I'm happy. Now, Danny said I'm was now, so I was it. so happy when you went, right? Didn't, didn't I phone yeah, you? Yeah, well, you wanted all the big laughs. I phoned you. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember I phoned you? Didn't I phone you, Norm? Norm? Did I phone you? Everybody phoned me. Right, and did I tell you? Uh, Norm, whatever you do, don't don't come back. Yeah, don't come back. Whatever you do, don't come back. I've never had so many laughs in my life. Oh, this was good. I I thought the scooters were so much better when they were actually glove puppets because you could do much more with them. Yeah. Look, Casablanca. Was this the chess thing? Well, apparently they only brought the scutters in to help us forget Norm. Oh, uh, Rob Grant reckons this is the worst scene I ever did where when I'm getting all excited about the. well, that was yeah, kind of him to say so. Game, you know. That's a very positive thought. He, yeah. was, he was always very truthful. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was truthful. He, he reckons I was crapping it, like, so. Well, I probably was. <laughs> yeah. I was crapping a lot of it. They weren't too great. Uh, 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 what a total immersion video game. Where? See, here now, he didn't let me do that. Oh, these are brilliant. You can't get hold of these for Some... love nor money. These are like Venus's arms. These are like... Brooke Shields' buttocks. <laughs> these are like, uh, <laughs> these are like <laughs> green great. biscuit tins. I don't know, it's a Rob Grant. Rob Grant knows nothing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good. Lobes and hypothalamus, right? So you actually feel as though you're really, really there? Actually, I agree with him. <laughs> yeah, I, <don't, laughs> I think it's good. No, I don't know. I, see, I think he's got I a agree with him. Well, you know. I mean, all these video things in the background right, twerk. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, you remember him? Yeah, what was his name? Oh, Pony. Gordon Sankild. It's something like that. Gordon Salkild or something. Awesome, his intellect, I tell you. <laughs> Just sending on the latest move in our chess game. Oh, dear. My move is pawn, right? That's the little, little knobbly, knobbly one there in the front. Really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gordon, it was Gordon, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I better sign off now. See you all. Bye. He's sort of shaking there. See you all. It was weird, because it's filmed in front of a live it's audience. A lot of these actors, you know, especially, especially a lot of the sort of trained ones and all, had never sort of done live TV before where you'd kind of do it in front of an audience, you know? Yeah. And a lot of them got nervous. Remember Tim Spall in Better Than Life? He was shaking like a leaf. Not Better Than Life. Back, what was it? Back to Future? Better than... Look at the relax. Back, back to the Future. Relax. Back to reality. Back to reality. Well, he is, really. 
That was the first move. <laughs> We didn't, you should come Sorry, over, you, should, you, you're, you're dangerous, you're, you're, you're like the Luftwaffe, you should just fly over, drop your bombs and leave, didn't you? Hey? <laughs> yeah. Come here, when you stand a chance do. with you, I mate. loved doing it, I, because the jokes were great, and it was a great show, and yeah, I loved you doing like, it. You I, like, did, I loved it. I you like dropping him from uh, way above, didn't you? Yeah. Nice. Look at the hologram cup. Now, is that a hologram cup yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, what did you have going on here? A bit of an 80s kind of Frankie... A bit of Spandau Ballet. A bit of Spandau Ballet. So they wanted to smarten me up a little bit and they gave me a tuxedo that I could pour curry on. super brushes that will clean even... But it's not a bad look, I don't think. I like that sort of black sort of look. Yes, I am over 18, although my IQ isn't. Me. Me. I remember in rehearsals when you were doing that, I was, I was cringing, I was thinking, you don't take the piss out of me. <laughs> revenue. Outland River. 8,500! 8,500! Oh, that's, that's really like, well done, this. Mister, how long are you going to pay for that, eh? I'm not. It's yours. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was well done. <sighs> this is wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. well wrong, Mister. Relax, it doesn't matter now. Is it brimming you over with wrong ability? It's, it's, re it's wrong. It's wrong. years into deep space and the human species is extinct? The hair's getting a bit flowy at the back there. A bit Howard Jones there, mate. It's a bit shaft. Good parting, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's getting lower and lower, isn't it? Lieutenant General Rime. That's from my mother. <laughs> Rear Admiral. Every time. I remember flying to um, because remember I used to always take the hat home with me, and I used to wear the hat all the time. And I remember yeah. flying once, and the um, airport authorities took all the bullets out of me hat and wouldn't give me them back. <laughs> Is this from your mum? Spoil sports. Hello. There's all the bullets at the side. It's terrible. I hope this epistle finds you adequately healthy to discharge your duties. You know, maybe I shouldn't be reading this deeply personal stuff. <laughs> Just get on with it. Oh, it's the misreading gag, isn't it? To... Can't read that. It's a bit well, pantomime, the misreading inform... gag, isn't it? I write to inform you that your father is dad. <laughs> well, of course he is. <laughs> maybe it's your father's stroke, dad. Dead. Who was the poster in? Oh, there we go. There you go, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> My father is dead. Oh, yeah, it's an E. That's <laughs> what it is. Your father's dead, Rimmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way. Well, he could have got. He was 111. Sorry, ill. <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He could have done loads of them, actually. <sighs> Passed away peacefully in his Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> Passage of time. Remember this. Oh, yeah. do you remember this? Time. But remember this bubble thing that uh, this oh, sort yeah. of we had to, we had observation. To the observation deck. Didn't yeah. Many scenes in there. No, we didn't. I think we no, didn't. because you keep having to wear that blink in dressing gown. And it was like music, up in yeah. the observation oh, bubble, that which was a great idea. I always thought you were going up to ask him for a date. Doing anything Saturday night? Oh, I love this speech. This but is, I blew it. Yeah. I got a couple of the couple, wrong couple of times, and we just carried on, didn't we? Because the last was so good. I remember when my dad died. You know, I was only six. Got loads of presents of everyone, like it was Christmas. Should be have a little violin on this. I remember, wish, I remember wishing a couple of more people would die so I could complete me Lego set. <laughs> grandma tried to explain. You know, she said so he'd gone away and he wasn't coming back. So I wanted to know where, like, you know? She said he was very happy and he'd gone to the same place as me goldfish. <laughs> Did you hear that wind in the background? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's the space wind. Uh, the space wind, yeah. I thought he was just it's round the u bend, you know? <laughs> I used to stuff food down and magazines and that for him to read. <laughs> he took me to a child psychologist in the end. Because he, he found me with me head down the bowl reading him the football results. <laughs> I knew he was dead. I mean, they're all dead, aren't they? Just getting that letter makes it seem like it happened yesterday. You never said much about him. No. You must have been pretty close. Close? Sorry, very close. Close? <laughs> I hated him. <laughs> I detested his fat, stupid guts, the Popeye balding git. <laughs> <laughs> He always wanted to join the Space Corps, be an officer. But they wouldn't take him, because he was an inch below regulation height. One inch. 
I had three brothers. When we were young, he bought a traction machine so that he could stretch us. <laughs> By the time you know, all these things do come back to haunt you <laughs> in real life, because when I look at my son, for example, yeah. I'm thinking, is he growing at the right rate? <laughs> <laughs> I think, what was that line in Red Dwarf? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Stretch the little boy, for goodness sake. My son's 14 years of age as we're recording this, and he's six foot two. No need for the stretching machine. He was born during this series. Can you believe that? And he's now six foot two. That is shocking. I had no idea. I thought you adored your parents. When I was 14, I divorced them. What? <laughs> I took them to court. I got paid maintenance till employment age. And Which is quite an interesting concept, isn't it? Because well, it happens in America now. now. Yeah. 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 In America Didn't Macaulay Culkin yeah. scare yeah. their yeah. boss's parents? Yeah. That doesn't mean to say I didn't respect him, didn't look up to him. It was only natural. It was my father. You know, that prop in the background is sort of annoying me. <laughs> what is it? It's like a <laughs> nose. It's sort of part yeah. of the observation tower. I, on, like, I only have eyes for your performance. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. What the hell is it? It's a telescope. For what? For something, for anything. I wanted him to be proud of me. Just once. Looks like a sort of giant fuel pump or something. My stomach has been pumped and now I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, there you are. <laughs> hey, man, I'm so hungry. I just came can't. just at the right time. <laughs> just to pep up the atmosphere. Yeah. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what a lie. Boom. Just that's died. I prefer chicken. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you don't get them. Big woofers Sick, like that. That was it. We'd been doing all that work, Chris. The came up and uh, that Bing. Was a classic. They man. guys did three pages. I came up and wiped my my um, steady. <laughs> that tea bag stuff. Oh, remember? Oh, she's, she, she was, was a real newsreader. She was a real she? newsreader, wasn't she? Yeah. Yes. Tina Jenkins. Tina Jenkins. I wonder where she is now, eh? She was a bit of a babe on the day, if I remember. The page is presently... Probably doing the news on you know, BBC I'm Devon. Sure I encountered her. She's a producer of some sort. Who is she? Yeah, well, she was. I'm sure. Darling Candy, all characters portrayed within this book are fictitious and any resemblance to persons living in I think she used to do the London yeah. News, didn't she? Yeah. Had a little bit of sacrilege there. Got the old God squad on our back. producer quality, though, doesn't yeah. she? She really looked... You yeah. could imagine, like, 14 years down the line. Producer. Listen. Pause! About your father. If it's any help, he's in the ground now. Well, sure, it's bad news for him. But on the other hand, it's party time for all the little rats. That's almost pure Buddhism, that, then. <laughs> That's so <laughs> <stupid. laughs> <laughs> That was a rare scene Sick. between you and me. I know. Yeah. Got a big wolf as well. Mm. There's no consoling him. I remember, listen, me and the cat were going to go and play a TIV. Wondered if you wanted to come. Oh, come on. Holly says he can key you in. Well, Hello? roughly halfway through, now we get to the meat. Hello? Well, that's just get into the thinking, meat. Now, you know, yeah. we're, we're probably 14, I'd say 44 seconds <laughs> yeah, in yeah. this episode. And, the and we haven't really... Oh. We, we're still seasoning the meat. There's up a, a, gear to, a few gears yeah. to go up. The pans oh, the Perrier gag, that is brilliant. Yeah. News, the new sensation yeah, sweeping great. the solar system is the total immersion video game, Better Than Life. Using the new Sensolock feedback technique, Better Than Life, is able to detect Fantastic all your desires plot. and fantasies and then make them come true. So great is the appeal of Better Than Life when... That was a bolt up right soon. Mm. Was it? Taking notice. Oh. Was that you or was that the chair, Dan? <laughs> was that a fart? <laughs> is, that, is that the chair or is it you? <laughs> that was a fart. That wasn't a fart. It was. I saw you. It was. You wouldn't be here now. I saw no. you lift the cheek, mate. You lifted the cheek. I was fart. moving my chair. <laughs> Come you, on. You let one go, Dan. <laughs> it's it's, the, it's the, t the tilt things on the chair's gone, isn't it? So. Oh, the pushing in. This. Dan, you look oh. great in that hat. Oh, there's a bit of ham Hi, from me. me there. Look at that. Give me in, Ollie. Bit of pink ham. Get that guitar going. Now here we are going to. Well, not me. Uh, yeah, I did come here. It's a real. Uh, it's a real flare on that door, isn't it? It's about yeah. a conflict that one through. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Look. <laughs> Siberian beach. Look, look at it. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be summer. That's paradise. It's it's just like <laughs> this is paradise. It's supposed to be paradise. We ended up on real beach. Oh, oh. B 
baby oh, fucking budget. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Didn't she do about a million takes of that? Debbie, 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 Debbie Ash. Debbie Ash. Leslie, Leslie Ash's sister. Leslie Ash's sister. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Marilyn Monroe, you gimp. Girl behaving Think badly. fantasies you. What does that prove? She's not oh, was that the shit when I knocked hey, you like that? I'm a little busy right now. And the camera's at the top of the cliff, and I give you a little nudge, and you go, yeah. hey, guy, you're knocking me out the scene. And we are like two little pinpricks in oh, a long nice. shot from the top big, of the cliff. Big, wide shot. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. You're probably really busy, but can I just say, you are my all time favourite fascist dictator. <laughs> I mean, I've read all your war diaries, and you're in He was in the water, now they're not in the water. They're miles um, from the water. Could you just sign this for me. Uh, make it out to my good pal Arnie from your dear chum Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> it's not for me, it's for my sister Alison. Um, we call her Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> this is Napoleon Bonaparte. We start establishing how deep, <sighs> deeply sad and dark it's Tony and twisted Hawks. Rimmer is. There's Tony Hawks. Just a couple of miles down. Yeah, the, the comedy legend. How are we supposed to get there? Have you read um, you playing After the all, Moldovans at tennis, Better beating the Moldovans at tennis? I haven't, no. He's, he's written two really funny books, yeah, actually. <laughs> this is great. Oh, oh I couldn't great. get... Remember, I kept stalling it. I, I was... I, I, I was sugaring myself, boy, I tell you. I, could, I, I kept, st kept stalling it. So when it pulls off now, that is no. not me. Driving that motorbike, but you did drive it for a bit, didn't you? Yeah, but every time we tried to do a take, it it's stalled. <laughs> oh. I wasn't confident enough to remember. Bit of an early effect there. Uh, look at that. See the way that you can tell it's, it's really superimposed. Was that your Jag or someone else's? Oh, someone else's. It's in good condition, that wasn't it, Chris? Well, it wasn't after that down the beach. No. <laughs> no. Sand everywhere, mate. Last place you want to put a car. Because all the cars get stuck, and the tide was coming in. Yeah, it was. Old Ed was having a. Yeah, right she. Yes, yeah, yeah, that Magruder was hot on you, Chris. Wasn't now, she? What's, uh, yeah. There's that Magruder girl. Hey, what was her name, Chris? Was she I a mean, jo Joanna as uh, well? Annabelle. Annabelle. <laughs> We're just one thing away from perfection. She was good, wasn't she? What was her name? I can't remember. What was her name again? Um, don't know. Let's see what. Stangling it for the camera there a little bit. Oh, Chris was uh, in his element. Here we go, look. Oh, God, I remember this. Remember, I remember this? this? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was right behind us. Oh, I have some strange talents. <laughs> and lots more bread and butter to follow. I never thought I'd see the day when I could eat something as classy as this, you know. This is better than life, sir. And yours was the fish, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? I always do this when someone gives me food. <laughs> <laughs> as ordered, sir. A I like the sort of... <laughs> the interpretation of paradise and sort of all this... Uh, yeah. It's like what, like an Indian restaurant like, in real. Sort of <laughs> steakhouse. Yeah. Steakhouse. <laughs> oh God. Here he comes, look. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat a little fishy. I'm going to eat a little fishy. Cause I like little fish. What is deeply sad is I've got a cap like that now. Is it really? Yeah. I really have got a cap like that. Similar. Do you motor in it, sir? You work when you go motoring occasionally. Wow. Who's that guy? Led to another and good God, this is a great game. <laughs> in one lifetime, I'm turning into Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <sighs> Rumor you can touch things. I know. Why do you think I was so late? <laughs> <laughs> the most famous hand gesture in the world. That's absolutely brilliant. I've got this vibrating leopard skin water bed in the shape of a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you should take a look at my wardrobe. It's so big, it's an this. international time zone. <laughs> when well, it's three o'clock where my shirts are, it's seven in the morning for my socks. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Grant's favourite line, that was, wasn't it? He said, love that line. Takes your trousers down, does everything for you. It's just so stylish. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> this is great, this is great. Those <laughs> Admiral. Is that the broadcasted? Admiral This boy is brilliant. <laughs> Yorna, Yorna Rama. Look, this. Hey, look, look, look. 
Field Marshal Clifton sends his his salute was almost as that. It made us look so realistic. You think they do that in the Navy? You know? He was great for you know. Be all... I'm not an admiral. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Gentlemen, do excuse me. <laughs> oh, 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 Doesn't even make you want to slap him. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tear in your nose. Oh, pint glass. Goodness, I thought, you um, can't get these pint glasses for love no money now, you know. In fact, they're really quite expensive really? to buy. Yeah, they don't Seriously? make they don't make God. these dimpled glasses anymore. Ah. It's a good year. <laughs> ah, this is so funny. That was a special glass, by the way, with the just with the, the champagne was only around the edges. Mm. You know, it was like a glass um, inside a glass with the champagne um, around the edges, so you could drink it real quick. <laughs> Anecdotes have punchlines. That's yes, man. <laughs> He's funny, though. He's I know it's the most awful bore, but uh, would you mind just signing this? That guy's good. Uh, yeah. He did not look the part as well, didn't he? Incredible career by Admiral A. J. Rimmer. I've read it 18 times, sir. <laughs> there you go, Lado. Oh, thank you, sir. Gosh, I'll be the envy of the Academy. <laughs> Father, son, what are you doing here? I'm sorry to barge in on you and your uh, office of chummies, chummies. But yes, I. It's quite a tash. Yeah, it, it is. Wearing, isn't it? Yes. Was that his or was that a false one? I can't believe that was his. <laughs> Something <laughs> tells me that was not his. Bit of old pony here. You're a total smithhead. <laughs> it's great, though. Oh, I love this. It's like a cartoon, the way you come here, Danny, yeah, and, and take the cigar. No, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> there. Didn't even bother coming back into shot, mate. Oh, this is it. The golf man. If, if you look at the smeg, at the smeg outs, I missed that shot so about a thousand times before I hit it. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's called the ball. Original. Are you trying to tell me how to play this game? You think cats never played golf? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the walk, though. Look, look. He really is, isn't it's it? It's the walk. Look, uh, like it's, like, it's like Jimmy Tarbuck in Pro Am Golf, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Coming yeah. trying to be posh. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps a banana bomb. Sir. Oh you, wow, this was cool. <laughs> I like that bit. Didn't he have about 12 people standing around us with fire oh, oh, oops, 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 again. Wrong. Oops. <laughs> so stupid. Classic stuff. And this is the first Holly Monitor. Yeah. It makes an appearance, rather elegantly, I think. We're having a real nice time. I'm dating Marilyn Monroe, and also I have another girlfriend who's a mermaid. She's half woman, half fish. <laughs> it's Miranda, my girlfriend. Woo! <laughs> Somehow I'd imagine she'd be a woman on top and a fish on the bottom. <laughs> they, they never really got that gag of where, of where you were licking on the photograph, done. No. Well, it's mermaid, isn't it? I was kissing the top half and licking yeah, the yeah. bottom half. It all starts to get hideously wrong here. It does, yeah. In this sort of... Thing. Your psyche takes over, sir. Oh, yeah. Now, that's going to be us. That's a bit yeah, like you now, isn't it, Chris? That's me on. on, yeah. I mean... You've you only got a couple more kids to go and this will be you for real. Look at that. Look, oh, one, two, three, four, yes. Yeah. Seven you had, isn't it, or something? Well, n nothing, nothing much goes down in your village, does it? Remember what happened to you? I mean, Remember, uh, we had to come back and film that. Look at the background of yeah. us looking over the wall. Bright, it's dark. sunny day. It's a bright, sunny day there. We look over a wall and it's like the and twilight zone. behind us, it? it's dark. And um, that's been brightened up as well. We filmed that at night. So this morning, you made me marry her. And this afternoon, we had seven kids. <laughs> but it looks like we could only afford to, afford to pay five. <laughs> it's too impractical. With all the kids and everything. But remember, you fantasized that you had seven kids and a mortgage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. That's classic. My brains rebel. <laughs> it just won't accept nice things happening to me. Very smeggy. It just keeps fantasizing the horribleness. Mr. Rimmer. Yeah. <laughs> that was oh, it. Oh, I'd sell you.
He was, he was an old diva, wasn't he, eh? Outland revenue, sir. He's a legend. This is a demand for immediate payment. Didn't he do loads of stuff in the 70s and all that? Yeah, he did loads. He was big. 18,000? It's a bit like Lee Van Cleef. Isn't it? Pump. Lee yeah. Van Cleef. He actually looks like... He, lo he looks like, um... The guy in... Uh, what's his name as well, doesn't he? The guy who plays War. War? Yeah. A bit like him. <laughs> Dennis Lil. Dennis Lil. Lil. Looks a bit like Dennis. Those guys could have played the mean brothers, couldn't they? This is getting worse. Help me, please. Ah, don't move! A huge blackberry spider with big teeth just crawled up the child's leg. I know, I just put it there. The the teeth are slowly getting worse. Well. Crawling up my trousers. This is getting out of hand. Do you think I don't know that? Ah, he's passed my knees into my boxes. Close your eyes and wish it away. I can't concentrate. I love this, this reveal now. Here we go. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. What's going on? Our faces have been smeared with jam or about being alive by killer ants. What? Well, how we did that was we dig, dug a big hole, didn't we? And then we just stuck some wood over it and then covered the wood with sand so that we went really bad. They just moved the wood away and we could get out the pit. That's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, we were having a great time till you came along with your... There's a lot of colour in that, though, isn't it? Which does distinguish it from Series 1, totally. And all the computers buzzing. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, all that yeah. sort of gives it a lot more life. Dear sir, due to a computer error, you were wrong... Bit of handheld, quite... Yeah, yeah. yeah. early on in uh, this. Yeah. Handheld so going on here. Original stuff, man. Obviously, this is Rocket's days, wasn't it? Uh, no, pre-Rocket days. Is it pre-Rocket? Pre-Rocket, yeah. Rocket wasn't until Shepperton. This was still this in... The... BBC Manchester. Still in Enter Ron Fenver again. You certainly are. Now, what about my 18 grand? Come on, it's bone-crunching time, me old China. <laughs> now, where's China. those little dummies? <laughs> oh, I love that sound effect on the end of it. <laughs> Come on, me old China. One of my favourites from... Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a... That's a good one, wasn't it? second series. Good mm -hmm. one. It's time slides Judy in this Hawkins series. Judy Hawkins was my brooder. Judy Hawkins. Judy Hawkins. Judy Gordon Salkild. Excellent. Yeah, and I hope everyone who's watching this thinks so, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. What they think of our comments, we don't know, but... That's, that's something. I think Norman is still the man. Same bit of pain. Just liberally <laughs> That same up. dodgy actor. <laughs> 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 same dodgy pull focus. Same let's, dodgy. Look, let's F. be really nasty to each other this time. Shall yeah, we? why why are we always being so been nice, so Norm? Kind. Yeah, I think we're too kind. Hey, why are we being so nice? I don't know. It's not like that on set. That's what you hated mean. everyone. Yeah, that's right. You know when do you remember when Howard Goodall came into the um, into the rehearsal rooms and that bit of dodgy out of tune piano. And um, he said, This is what the theme she's going to be. It's cold and you got outside. There's cold kind of atmosphere. And we were going, oh, No, uh, sure. but like, um, I thought, you know, he was just making up the words and he was going to go away and then, you know, write Do it proper words for us. Like, but like, <laughs> I, I think Doug Naylor thought that as well. But the thing was, those words that he was making up, um, they were the words that he well, stuck with. Yeah. I was going, What? what, what, what? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> he knew what he was doing. The yeah, because it's and become it, it a bit of a dark, classic, dark, hasn't it? Even loads of pieces of paper lying around. Danny, he probably thought the music he was making up, but he was going to go away, right? right <laughs> yeah. you know? I, was, I, I was thinking, oh, he's just practising a few chords. <laughs> <laughs> and a creature who evolved from the ship's cat. Message out. Message out. Additional. Supplies are plentiful. God, look at that young guy. Yeah, you look quite thousand. young there, don't you, eh? It is. It's amazing. have run out of shape and back. Your nose is a lot straighter nowadays, don't you? I've had it done. Yeah. Did you have your nose done? I broke it and had it reset, and they <laughs> did it. Oh, this oh, is weird. Uh, look at this. Are they? They are good special effects, yeah. aren't they? Oh, look, look. 
This was uh, great. Bit of heavy guitar going down. <laughs> uh, the rock. Ooh. Uh, the cat dance. <laughs> the so Scott good. is banging out there, mate. Hologrammatic projection cage. <laughs> Where is the young Chris Barry? Ahead, route back to five. Yeah. <laughs> That's the lad. Hang on, everybody, hang on. The sausages are done. <laughs> <laughs> Business, innit? It's nice to get out this once in a while. Was, um, that was a flint quarry. That was a flint quarry in Wales. And you know something? Um, while we were filming this, my ex-wife was in labour. Because yeah. if you remember, in fact, I had to get um, a, 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 there was a limo waiting for me there was to a take me from this right there flint quarry in Wales to um, to to a hospital in North London where my son was born, and I got to the hospital 20 minutes late, yeah. and it was just handed to me. It was quite amazing, really. Mm. But if you notice that um, Mike Agnew, uh, that the assistant, well, what was he the floor mm. manager sort of thing? Um, he, he he stood in for me in the scene where. We're putting the headstone back and the, and the, um, the cast on the foot changes change leg watch. Gordon Bennett's lucky he's not a gynaecologist. <laughs> hey, Norm. Don't beat an old hey. fanny gag. But I think John Humphrey did a great job with the lighting, making yeah. that quarry look... Uh, he's oh, yeah. Planetarial, this is such a good term. Really. I mean, it does look good, doesn't it? I bet some of that special effect as well, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It looks great. Yes, we're sort of keyed in in the bottom right hand side. Yeah. yeah. The red sauce over there in orbit. <laughs> I only drive when I'm too drunk to walk. This was the beginning of a long history of driving gags. Yeah. Mm. Red yeah. <laughs> Show me the way to go home. I think a drunk acting. <laughs> A masterclass for any uh, potential <laughs> drunks on the stage. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right to drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the great gear change. <laughs> on, on the back of on the back of Blue Midget, there we have. Uh, it is Blue Midget, isn't it? Yeah, it's Blue yeah. Midget. Um, My other the things they put put on the back of council trucks, you know, which I think is a nice touch. Isn't it like one of those bumper stickers, like My Other Ships at Red Dwarf or something like that? What time is it? That's below it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? There are some numbers next to it, but they could be anything. <laughs> do you know what I fancy right now? A big oh, fat a fried egg chili chutney. <laughs> no. I want a triple fried egg butty with chili sauce and chutney. <laughs> the face on you. Me too. <laughs> well, no problem then. Nothing's too good for the death day, boy. Correct. Ho! Ho! Bit of prop acting, man. Bit of yeah. proppy. Getting, getting a laugh with the costume. I'm jiggered, man. You don't sleep. <laughs> of course I do. I've got to offline. I can't keep up my full tilt, full power, red hot maximum pace all the time. I've got to take the odd breather, haven't I? I want a triple fried egg sandwich with, with chilli sauce and chutney. You what? It's a state of the art, Sarny. It's a state it's like of the, the floor, floor I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you choose okay. that hat, Norman? I can't remember. I reckon it was forced on him by I think the costume it was forced on me. <laughs> This'll look good, Norman. <laughs> 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 a full gamut of human emotion oh, there. Like I'm having a baby. That is a full salad, that. I think well, there was it? a... I good. <laughs> full salad. I, I read them all. I think it was a book on bacteriological warfare. <laughs> it's like a cross between food and bowel surgery. <laughs> it's well naughty. The trouble is you've got to eat it before the bread dissolves. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get a laugh that, but it's yeah, funny. It's funny all isn't it? the ingredients are wrong. The fried eggs, wrong. The chutney, wrong. The chilli sauce, all wrong. But put them together, <laughs> and somehow it works. It becomes right. <laughs> it's you. This sandwich, Lister, is you. 
What are you saying to me, Rimmer? You're wrong, right? All your ingredients are wrong. You're <laughs> slobby. You've got no sense of discipline. You're the only man ever to get his money back from the odor eater people. <laughs> That's oh, uh, <laughs> some Trust amazing writing. That's uh, why you're a Friday some amazing right there. sandwich. Now me, now me. All the ingredients are right. <laughs> I've always I'm got a pen. I'm organized. <laughs> I'm dedicated yes. to my career. It's I've always good. got a pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, that line has lived with me for years and years. Really? Yeah. And I've always thought that if I have to borrow a pen, I think, God, I'm deeply disorganised. <laughs> yeah. I suppose it's because you are a total smegger. Always got a pen. But I'm not. I'm a nice guy. I'm a goody. No, I remember, see, the trouble is you've never got time for people. You're too busy trying to be successful. It's all... But I'll tell you now, if anyone did ask me for a pen today, mm -hmm. I could provide one. You've got one today, have you? Have today? Oh, yeah. What about all the time I spent... Well, uh, don't lend it to me, because uh, <laughs> later on this afternoon, then, um, then you won't have a pen. <laughs> <laughs> my pen is locked away, of course. I went out of my way to simp around him. Remember, that's not having time for people. Do you know how... It's good drunk acting, though, Chris, you know? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Well, I'm, I was, I was in. You was drunk. Fear. You were drunk at the time. You was drunk. Uh, I'm, 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 no, I don't think I was. I'm, uh, I'm kind of in hangover no, mode. You wake up in the morning and you'll have your hangover and you'll feel like that. Glen Tokyo whiskey. Is that supposed to be Glen Fiddich or whatever it is? Well, okay, it's yeah. lots of Glen whiskeys, isn't it? Any Glen, pick a Glen. Glen Marangi. You'll want to kill yourself in the morning. Yvonne Magruder, a single brief liaison. It's a, I, honestly, this story is um, I, it's one of my favourites. <sighs> and uh, Doug was telling me that um, when they wrote it, they thought uh, that this was going to be the strongest story and it was going to start off the whole of the second series. But um, did we film this first? <laughs> Please Did we film this um, first in the run? Can't remember. I, I know Crichton was Cri third. Was Crichton wasn't first, was it? No, it wasn't. I don't think we did, you know. It was, be no, was it better than life first, then? I the right no girl. idea. Some just might say, given the fact that the human race... The banana was big, wasn't it? Coupled with the fact that... And, you, and, then, and then football supporters all over the years just robbed our idea, mate, and just started to take them to football grounds. <laughs> All the crowd, of you, isn't it? Got, it was always a yellow banana in the car. Yes, I did. I did, didn't I? Pearls of wisdom there from Mr. <laughs> Fried Egg Chili Chutney Sandwich Face. Put your claws away. Well, I'll tell you something, Well, the, the Barry has been drunk for ten minutes and we haven't, you know, wanted him out of here yet. My pips, my no, I think it's, it's good acting. It's a good ten minutes of drunk acting. It's, lovely. it's lasted, it's dated well. <laughs> yes, it's unlike the rest of my acting. How <laughs> <laughs> behave yourself. <laughs> and to have been loved. Oh, look, it could, it's coming up. Set to up the, the story there look, to look, love look, and be loved. Bang, look. <laughs> see? Look at the timing of that. <laughs> Ten minutes on the button. <laughs> really be good. Look, 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 57, 58, 59, 10 minutes. Wow, look, look at that. Timing of the man. All look at the timing now. of the man. Well, exactly, we're, um, you're right, we're 10 hey? minutes in. 10 minutes and say nine seconds. Yeah. And uh, see, that's just moving into the second gear now. To move into the second, second gear, look. Mm -hmm. It's a star. <laughs> yeah, I'd was thirty seconds just to. That was a good scene. Transition. Very good. Passage of time. There you go. There I say it. The ship's still looking remarkably clean in the second series. Yeah. And. Space, no one can hear you clean. Cleaner clean. than him. <laughs> I, love, I love this fist eating thing. What an annoying man. Sad. <laughs> what is that tune from? Uh, Virginia Wolf. Uh, Peter and the Wolf. Peter and the Wolf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Virginia Wolf. Virginia Wolf. <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> the famous fist eating. Yeah. All of that. An early fist. <gasps> ah, me foot. I must have gone to sleep on it. <sighs> God, you were really putting it away last night, Lister. You really fell for my joke, didn't you? <laughs> God, it's agony. Uh, that Magruder guy. Reveal. Fancy falling for that, eh? <laughs> I'll give you my telescope anything. Please, God, don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done now? <laughs> well, 
Why that's a that? stupid line. Okay. Have you done that? that? <laughs> that's so stupid. When did you finish the jigsaw? I didn't. Boy, aliens. Messing with my star charts. Here I am trying to do the comprehensive, nay, definitive A to Z of the entire universe. With strict you've got names, longer hair there, Norm. Has you been on holiday there, Norm? On the, yeah, a bit of a continental tan. A bit of a brown oh. bit and kind of a um, bit more on the sides of the hair. Nah, bit of a sophisticated man of mystery. Didn't do holidays. There's a perfectly logical explanation for everything, with the possible exception of little Jimmy Osmond. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Hang on, today's Sunday, right? So? Well, this clock, this clock says Thursday, and that clock says Thursday. And my foot says, get the person who did this to my foot. <laughs> Four pages have been torn out of my diary. Somehow we've lost the last four days. Oh, isn't it? It's like living with Sherlock Holmes, isn't it? Eh? It's nearly always there. Aliens. What? What are you talking about, Grease Dame? It's a well-documented phenomenon. They kidnap you. Give you a mind probe, erase your memory, and put you back. Okay, aliens came aboard. Without question. They broke my leg? For some reason. They broke my leg? Right. And then they did a jigsaw? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cleared that up then. Look, you're not thinking alien. That's what <laughs> aliens are. Alien. They do alien things. Things that are... Alien? Alien. <laughs> Maybe this is the way they communicate. What, breaking legs? <laughs> Did you get <clears throat> crochet the home sweet home onto your pyjamas yourself? Was that... I think that was the wonderful wardrobe department once again. <laughs> no, but I was wondering if the backstory was that Rimmer had done it himself. Yeah. The backstory was that Rimmer may well have done it himself, given that he had a lot of time <laughs> <laughs> on his hands. <laughs> low, hello. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> they do it twice. Yeah, this was twice. Very, very two. A massive punchline coming up for you. Yeah, yeah. And Jigsaw must mean you. Hello to you. <laughs> Big punchline. I wouldn't like to be around when one of these suckers is making a speech. <laughs> there you go. And he's off, limping away. Hang on, the black box. Well, black those days, I Come in, three lines. Sit and gone. Bank of, bank of just just leave, leave residue, mate. <laughs> this is residue. Norman slips up on it every time. Wait a minute. Let me think about this. It gives off a signal. We can trace it. Oh, the blue midget again. Blue midget. Look at that. I kind of like the blue mist, blue midget in the in the um, remastered ones. The one that got up and walked. I thought it was brilliant. Mm. Mm. This is impossible. It could be anywhere. It's like trying to find a fart in the jacuzzi. <laughs> Very classy line there for the young Charles. <laughs> I, I, what I thought about this was it was just a, a brilliant story. Now, look, see the cast's on the left foot there. Left foot, yeah. No, my left, your right, my, my left. Uh, who's in front, you or me? Spanish television. Well, the cast oh was on your left foot in the bank, wasn't it? So, yeah. But it's on the left foot there. So that's right. Start the engines, warm her up, keep it ticking over, yeah? <laughs> what is it? It's a footprint the size of a surfboard. I don't believe the size of these feet. Can you imagine the problems this guy must have trying to get back? Cowardice gag, of course, for real. Coming in there, cowardice gags. The size of your feet. I mean, if it is, this guy could probably go to a fancy dress. There's no cast there. No. <laughs> I think you should come back. There's more of them. <laughs> they lead around this corner. There's no cast there now. At all? Is it hidden no, no. That is weird. It's not there. We weren't in a cast at all. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, for me or Danny. This I don't believe. It's a grave. Now there are. Yeah. They're there now. But that's the on the wrong foot. The there was the shot before, Chris. There was no cast on either me or Danny. You're not going to believe this. And now they're on, is it, is it on a different foot now. It's only shallow. The black box is buried in the grave. It's been said about me many times, it's... he's only shallow. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember rightly, this was one of the stories right. where I... It's loaded. Got a bit did confused. Scrap, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was a great story. Very clever. Nice looking bloke. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will ever find this, but if they do, and it's you, Dave, or you, Arnold, don't ever play it. Some things are best left buried. Mm. Wise yeah. advice. Why have you frozen him up? From the elder statesman of the crew there. Well delivered. Yes. Delivered with gravitas. Yes. Yeah. See that? 
how many times in my entire life I made love. Yes, we all remember the spin-off. <laughs> spin <laughs> oh, I love this bit back behind you, a back actor, actually. It's really good. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you know, I think I might be seeing this for the first time. Really? <laughs> because, yeah, I think I was out the night this was... Uh, yeah. uh, broadcast for the first time and consequent times. There you go, another... Oh, yeah, good. remember this? I'm sleeping, and sleeping's my third favourite thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this bit where you're doing the, the dancing down the stairs and all that kind of stuff, and you're sort of sock suspenders. What is this place? It's the hologram simulation suite. This is the room that creates Rimmer. A place where we've never been again. That's nice, that, Clara. I was always dreams and everything there. Okay. Wicked dressing gown. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Let's see how that A couple of rolled-up socks down the old packet area there as well. And, of course, I didn't get... Uh, any singing musical jobs after this? That's a, that's ah, I wonder why. Because really? no. <laughs> yeah, everyone doing, was looking at the boxer shorts. You stopped doing musicals well, after Danny, that's just something, isn't it? Well, you know, I'm not surprised they didn't get you up for the old mo Big Monty. Full Monty. Oh, yeah, the full Monty. I'm going to take eight months out of my memory and I'm going to paste it into his. So everything that's happened to me, he's going to think happened to him. You're going to give him one of your old girlfriends. I'm going to give him Lisa Woods. <laughs> That's the girl I'm talking about. Uh, what girl? That girl. What about her? She's a presenter. She was a presenter, wasn't yeah. she? Oh, was she? Yeah. She's had uh, a baby, I think, as well. Yeah. So. Uh, you mind that What's her name? Lisa Yates in this. I don't know where her name I can't remember where her name Sabra. Sabra. Sabra yeah, Williams. I think she was a presenter. She was brought yeah. up very well. Was well, she? Adopted. Uh, I kept thinking she was uh, the Jenny Powell girl, but she's not. Yeah. yeah. Sabra was a dancer. I love yeah, you, dance. Lisa. The smarm you put in that voice is amazing. Yeah, the whole eight months. Man, that's a fine present. He was probably only expecting a tie. <laughs> 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 There's the gazpacho soup shop there as well. You see that? Mm. Look at it. Look, look. <laughs> I remember you doing this in rehearsals and me getting really cheesed yeah. off about your yeah. impersonation of me, actually. Yeah, you know, we weren't well. getting on that well at the time as well, and I was thinking, I'm going to punch you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I had to... Uh, <laughs> professional... Um, look, hey, look, 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 look. Oh. The thing was, it was a bit close you to the mark in places. The old bum looks a bit perked there, dog Chris. Eh? Life's, life's so good. Why is life so good? Well, uh, you were doing a bit of exercise those days. You've got to keep in trim. Oh, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've got to keep in trim for these work. Yeah. For the jobs. In the sky, from here to eternity, rolling naked on the beach kind of love. Not like me and Lisa. So who's Lisa? Never you mind, Lister. Someone who was absolutely nuts about me. That's all you need to know. Fine, if you want to keep it to yourself. It's great the kind of realisation that I get, you know, you're gone on about it and I'm gone on about it and the way I realised that, Jesus Christ, I was a bit of an idiot getting rid of her in the first place, you know. And then she tear I go, you know, how do you know? crazy, crazy year that was. The first three months I was at Saturn Tech doing a maintenance course. Then for absolutely no reason I suddenly moved to Liverpool. <laughs> I drank too much, I smoked too much, I became a total slob. I met Lisa, of course. Mm. I even started to eat my own toenail clippings. <laughs> <laughs> my taste in music radically changed. <laughs> I got the adoring man to Varney and got into Rasta Billy Skank. Crazy. Well, you know, you're in love, you go a bit crazy. Rasta Billy Skank. It was weird. I was absolutely nuts about her, but yet I started to treat her really badly. No, you didn't. I did. I started to give her some wishy-washy twaddle about not wanting to get The hair, down. of course, is but extremely you know? long. Yeah, there it is. Settle down. You want us to bum around and have a laugh. But I hate This is kind of, no, very 80s, laugh. isn't it? We were all in a very long hair phase. One of the good what things about Red Dwarf is because it wasn't set... Well, I mean, it, it wasn't of the time. It's not it, an awful it, lot of Chris, yeah, yeah. 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 it's not that much 80s evidence, which means it hasn't dated as much as so the sitcoms of the age. really, you know. You're sort of close to a mullet. Not a mullet. Well, he's on the way, isn't he? Look. It's... That's more Bodie and Doyle, isn't it? 
No, I don't know about that. <laughs> but if you'd got the top of the side cut very short but left the back, yeah, you'd have the birth of a mother. You, you, it's it's a big... entering the cat domain there. Yeah, it's a big, dip... big hair, isn't it? For with a pompa... It's, it's a big pompadour. For a, for a disciplinarian. And it's pompadour. Being... Yeah. And there's colours changed. That it? is not Green Beret, my son. Is there a no, colour change? Yeah. But I think there was a mood at the time where, because we're in the situation because we're in... Kevin Keegan was big, wasn't he? <laughs> I love this where he's reminiscing about the sex. Just having a guess. Just having a guess. No one will ever know how beautiful. I love this as well, the change in textures, you know, because to us watching it onto it on a monitor and then back to the real thing, you know, it's like a lot of different textures in it. Lots of development going on here. Uh, well, series two and three were the developing, those two series things mm. developed to, up to four, you know, which. Well, four and five became kind of um, tra traditional sitcoms. There was always a, a gag about, you know, there was always a, um, a, a Crichton gag about the shape of his head. Mm. There was always um, a Space Corps directive. Uh, there was, a, like, sort of became sort of formulaic. Letters? Don't give me what letters, the letters. What letters? You went out with Lisa Yates, too. I found the letters she sent you. Oh, this episode has shot time. through, hasn't it? Quickly, yeah. it's moved along. Well, it has. I'm looking at it faster than any of, mm. yeah, any of them. Twenty-two fifty-six. Yeah. Uh, 20, uh, 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 I would say uh, approximately twenty. It does go fast when the dialogue's ripping like that. But there's so much been established in twenty-three minutes. You know, mm. 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 mostly the bad acting. <laughs> Mostly the ham on the screen. Mostly that salad dripping. Are you beginning to think there's a lack of cat up there at the moment? Yeah, I think he is. You know, I think he's thought thinking, where's uh, the cat? No, I like I like to lay down these slippery surfaces for Norm to come. You think someone's going to swoop in and save this show <laughs> any second now? Yeah. There, there he is. Uh, I mean, you know, Rimsy, Rimsy and Listy. The thing is, you're probably really asleep up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Is he up there on the bed? Feeble? Yeah, yeah you're up there on the bed, mate. I couldn't even see. I was yeah, just, you're, you're waiting to get that so line out. I'm down front. I couldn't even <laughs> see myself. Yeah, I mean, I tell you. You gave me eight months of your memory as a present. <laughs> up there? Yeah, up there. Look at him. There's a bomb That's waiting to be dropped, orphan, Chris. Even though my parents were alive. <laughs> do you think there's something happening? Do you think? There could oh, be a bomb so there. up there. <laughs> Because <laughs> I always remember if you, the old adage, if you're not in, if there's nothing to say, mm. get out. Shouldn't be the scene. Yeah. So get out of dodge. It's, it's a line about takeaway food, isn't it? The whole world didn't love me. I, can't I don't. Know. Yeah, it's a line about takeaway food. I think you say. Um, I, you see it now. Rimmer, listen, Rimmer. Rimmer. Smack. You should have bought him a tie. See, you're a Chinese. <laughs> See? Here yeah. we go, up to the tower. Uh, the observation dome. That's it. It's now like he's got a bit... Says, yeah, observation dome. He's got a bit of a sad music on it now, see? There's a bit of good old stuff coming yeah. in. Yeah. Come on, Rimmer, you've experienced love. It made you more confident, more secure. It didn't happen. I never even met her. It did happen. I mean, you fell in love with it in a way I never did. Lots of shadows know? going on there, aren't there? Little the pump lighting, mate. Tongue down my ear. <laughs> it wasn't my ear at all. It was your ear. The woman I love most in the whole world had her tongue down your ear. <laughs> Since you put it like that. <laughs> most romantic thing I've ever had down my ear is a Johnson's baby bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as far as you're concerned, you had a love affair, right, which was wonderful, yeah? And for some reason that you can't understand, it all went hideously wrong. You have to make some more scenes up in that dome thing. Just you, me, and everyone else. And yeah, we did, but it didn't last very long. The observation dome. I think the chaps thought that the um, it's, the it's, actual it's, dome that's painted over it didn't look that it's great. It's from his angst room, innit? Never experiencing. You're no better than a jellyfish. No better than a bank manager. <laughs> I don't want this feeling anymore. I want my own memory back. Okay. Okay. I'll arrange the last four days. Lisa Yates will never happen. But you'll know about it. Well, I'll erase my memory from Sunday, too. And the cats and hollies. Fine, if they agree. What about the black box? I'll destroy it. It's indestructible. OK, I'll shoot it off into space. Someone might find it. OK, OK, we'll bury it. We'll bury it on some planet, yeah? Here we go. 
black box buried. Oh, look at the tension in them legs there. Mm. Put down, man, put down. Well, maybe I was just cold. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I was that's not me now, is it? That, is that, Flint, uh, quarry is, in, in near Rill. I don't know if that's me now. I think that might be Mick Agnew in my suit. I think it is actually Mick Agnew in my suit now. <laughs> Off it goes again. All right. Left foot, and I'm on the right foot. Oh, oh. Okay. How do I? We never established how I erase my memory. Um. Now is possibly not the best time to be asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought that up in rehearsals, really, shouldn't I? But, of course, anyone out there who does want to continue the debate on, on the plot, wow. etc., of this particular episode, I'm yeah. sure they will. Don't email me! <laughs> there is that shot, of course, with the, uh, the, um, plasterless shot. Yeah, in the middle of the scene. I didn't realize, I didn't, re I didn't notice that until now, 15 years, nearly 15 years later. Who knows? Answers on a postcard. This is the voice of the BBC saying, stay funky. Here we are, episode four, uh, Stasis Leak. Stasis mm. Leak. Um, where we managed to cram three f three rimmers, three listers, and three cats onto the same screen. That's right. With so much split screen, and under if I'm sort of standing to my left like that again. <laughs> God, we used to have loads of Stasis Leaks in the Midland, didn't we? Um, After, um, <laughs> that's right, we were staying in the Midland here now, weren't we? Staying in the Midland, having loads of Stasis Leaks. We've been kicked out of the Ramada Hotel. I was even more tea bag. Yeah. yeah, you were. When it came to those six split screens, those whatever, or nine, uh, whatever split screens. It's acting. It's Three. trying to act to something that's not there as well. So I still even know now. <laughs> acting with something that's not duh, there. Duh. It's a bit like acting with Norman. Duh, duh. Bum bum. Oh, See, man. he was not only early but in the <clears throat> wrong key. Paul Jackson uh, couldn't under. He didn't get this episode at all. He did not. No, he, he really had doubts that about means this it episode. Worked. And it worked. Yes. It means it worked. There was some moment at tea, uh, at supper, on the evening of the uh, recording in front of the audience, where someone sort of said, look, if I did that, why would I be doing that? And Paul Jackson sort of lost his rag a little bit and sort of said, don't ask questions now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just get on with it, get on with it. Just get on with it. Make it funny, make it funny. Get your marks here, lies. <laughs> don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. <laughs> loud, loud. Otherwise you won't be in it next year. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was after this series that he tried to get me sacked, wasn't it? Or during this series that Paul Swift decided to ask Robin Doug if it was all right that he wrote me out of it. <laughs> My reliability at this stage was, uh, was not at its best, sir. Uh, well, what's this black and white thing going on here in this? The past. Eh? Hey? Yeah, it's the past. Couldn't, couldn't we have done that with dodgy acting? Um, sort of. We're doing it with dodgy acting. <laughs> <laughs> Crying out loud, Rimmer. Look at how young he looks. He looks younger than the first episode. He does. Before the last big pie. Okay, I'm getting the picture. Breakfast God, comprised man. of two eggs, three you can see his bacon, chin. a grilled tomato, two sausages, a small portion of fried potatoes, and a large quantity of mushrooms. <laughs> I remember when I first saw the script for Status League, I opened it up and saw these thundering great speeches and thought, mm. oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to think that when I had two lives. By about episode four, you begin to worry about speech size, and if you want to go into speech three, page two, and episode one, you know. inspection <laughs> parade. He was totally naked except for a pair of mock leather driving. Ah, but you, you, the thing is, you're reading that. 
<laughs> I don't think I am. Yet. You know, did you learn that? I would today. Yeah, you'd sort of like uh, read yeah. it, wouldn't you? You know, you're trying to show off in them days. Said to me, you know, Chris, you know, long speeches. I was going, I'm reading it, love. I'm reading it. <laughs> You know, and if Paul Jackson would walk up and sort of say, um, no, you're bloody well not, you're learning it, I would yeah. say, um, actually, I want to read it. Yes. I'm 42 years old and I'm going to read the bugger. Yeah. Remember, I said dismiss. Two weeks? That's enough. Two smegging weeks? I said that is enough. <laughs> With respect, sir, you've got your... That was a quickie. Up ...your big fat ass. <laughs> Oh, but you get through those speeches and you think it's going to be worth it. Yep. Mm. yep. A large deposit. A large deposit in the bank of Wolf. The That's Wolfminster. In Wolfland special. <laughs> the Wolfminster <laughs> Bank. You <laughs> ate his wife's photograph. I didn't know it was his wife. I thought it was a publicity shop from Planet of the Apes. Oh, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm sorry about those mushrooms, you know. I quite like those jumpsuits. <laughs> what colour were they? Uh, Orange. I mean, they came into fashion big time, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Sometime after we were used, wearing them on Red Dwarf. Yeah. We look like Devo. Are we not men? We are Devo. Oh, Devo, yeah. Get someone into trouble. Oh, no, eight weeks painting the smegging ship. I'm sorry. Get the spacesuits. From ocean grey to military grey. I don't want you to panic, Arnold. I want you to stay absolutely... There cool. he is, then. I'm coming out in a moment. Are you in the table now? I want you to keep your cool. Pass. Are you ready? Steady. Here I steady. Yeah. There steady, I am. Chris. Another fantastic effect. Yeah. There. That wasn't too bad, was it? Look, we found a stasis leak on floor 16. I'm dead now. This is this is cut out with a pair of scissors. Oh, no, you can see the shadow. <laughs> you won't be dead either, and neither will I. <laughs> Like off I remember that one bit took ages to film. Oh, I know. It was, you were on the, the other side head. of the studio, wasn't you? And they, you on the blue screen on the other yeah. side of the studio. And I tried to position the table around it. Good book. Back to colour. Yeah, right. Yellow banana. Lovely. Lovely. Multicoloured shirt. The problem is to sometimes to see if it is colour, you've got to look at that yellow banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the shirt I actually had on in in the last episode? It is. I was going to say, yeah, I'd seen that shirt. Very, yeah. very clever stuff. Astute. I don't believe it. You've been reading it out to the cat? Only the best bits. <laughs> Carol McCauley, your eyes are like two limpid pools of loveliness. Shut up. Your hair is like a golden waterfall. Shut up. Plus those short skirts you wear make me really horny. <laughs> Lister, I order you to shut your face. It's no big deal, you know, you can read my diary. Do you want to read your diary? It's full of puerile nonsense about Christine Kachansky. Ah, so you've read my diary? <laughs> yes, but at least I have the common decency to do it sneakily behind your back. <laughs> so this was the series that we were thrown out of a hotel, was it? Yeah, we were chucked out of the Ramada Hotel. Um, now, I maintain it was for being rowdy and uh, loud and staying up late and drinking all the, all the bar. And the fact sites because he didn't pay his bill. The Danny records is because I didn't pay me bill. All right, or listen, perhaps get Paul Jackson on the phone. <laughs> get Paul Jackson on the phone now. Um, get Paul Jackson on the phone. Get Paul Jackson on the phone right now. I don't remember that at all. I don't, no, I don't remember that. Hotel. Well, all I remember is that we took you out, Norman. Me and Danny took you to Moss yeah, Side. I remember that. Yes. To this, um, the Shabin. To a Shabin in A real backstreet, downstairs, oh, yeah, underground there. drinking bar. A new uh, Which was way full way of people smoking illicit substances. <laughs> and um, and uh, everyone was black as the ace of spades, apart from you. Norm. Yeah, I remember. And I remember this massive big raster who looked like he just killed his parents. Um, he had the hair down to his bum, a fist the size of my head. He walked right up to you, bright red eyes from where he'd been smoking all this puff. He came right up to you with his fist out like that, and I thought, oh, God, it's all going to kick off. Let's get Norman out of here. And he put his hand out and went, see, man. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, wow. Uh, and he you. took you under his wing. You remember, we went to the bar and we came back and he was chatting a big bird up. I know, yeah. He knew not to In fact, you had guy. loads. You had loads of women all over you. They were all over him. <laughs> they were. I'm telling well, you. Handsome boy. It was like Donald Trump. And we were knocking around with this <laughs> chap. 
We were looking around like with Donald Trump. We, we came back. We thought this would be a laugh. No one would be shitting himself. Now. We, we, we remember we got were knocking around with a chap the called Chinny, who was like oh, a, a bit of a Manchester him. gangster. Got shot. In the uh, back. Yeah, and the week before, um, someone, had so, you know, someone had tried to shoot him, and the guy that was standing standing next to him had been hit. Oh and God. here's me thinking oh. this while I'm standing next, next to him and having a conversation. I think, oh. Someone's going to try to shoot him again. Uh, do you know he's still around? A small way in a bank. I, I did a play in Manchester. Not married, but lives with she, David Baddiel. She has a baby to David Baddiel, isn't she? Yeah. You can enjoy the in-lift movie, Gone with the Wind. <laughs> she's, she's, Obviously, her the mouth reminds me of poor, um, Toy Wilcox. You'll notice there are no exits. In the highly unlikely event of the lift having to make a crash landing, death is certain. <laughs> Under your seat, you will find a cassette for recording your last will and testament, and from above your head, a bag will drop containing sedatives and cyanide capsules. I hate this stuff. It really freaks me out. To take the cyanide capsule, simply break open... Like What's her name, this girl again? Morwenna Banks. Morwenna Banks. I well, did a play with her. Since. She was in that... Absolutely? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Comedy series. Thank you for travelling express lifts. We apologise for the delay. <laughs> you should apologise for the chicken. First meal I ever had where the container tastes better than the food. <laughs> <laughs> We were still coming down by tr uh, by plane, weren't we? Yeah, we were flying mm. in, man, like Sean Puffy. <laughs> like, like, P. Yeah, Diddy. P. Diddy. <laughs> P. Diddy. P. Diddy. And J. Lo. Uh, was, that, was that Ken Diddy? Uh, yeah, I think we did. Ken like. Diddy. Didn't they stop after this flying us in up the stairs because we were always late, weren't we? We were always missing yeah, planes. Yeah, they took away our... our um, I was never um, late. There's a question in the Red Dwarf quiz book about what time was on the clock the there. Wrong, and I've, ju I've just the missed it. The time on the clock's wrong in here. Is it? And that came in as a letter, didn't it? I don't know. It was in the red. Some twelve-year-old sussed it out. Said the, the the clock was out like by an hour and twenty minutes or something. <laughs> what is it? It's a rent in the space-time continuum. You get you get a scene what like this it? once in a lifetime, Chris. I was going to say you had trouble with your lines that week. No, that was again a masterclass. Yeah, yeah, look, masterclass. <laughs> How many times can you say? Is this? It? Um, it's a singularity, a point in the universe where the normal laws of space and time don't apply. What is it? <laughs> the famous what is it scene. Oh, the magic door. Well, why didn't you say <laughs> The magic door. It's the lion, the witch and the wardrobe. Three weeks before the crew got wiped out. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you mind? This is the annual general meeting of the Agrobobic Society. <laughs> I wonder, can we bring anybody back? Watch this with the clicks, remember? Not unless we want them turned into powder. <laughs> Who are you thinking of bringing back? Me. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you see, the audience even took time to get mm. that one. Chris held them with his looks. He held them, held them, held them. Let, let it go. Them, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. There we go. I can't. Where's the tea bag? It's, it's underneath the on, ship. On the, on the other it's underneath establisher. What's the point in going if you can't bring anybody back? You've seen a photograph of Maria? Now, what's the point in three weeks you'll be radioactive dust? Living it up. Marry a boxing dad. Arnie does it best. <laughs> I'm going to stay with her. You're going to stay with her? For the sake of three weeks together, you're going That's to give love, up your you life? That's love, you see, mate. Yeah. I don't believe it. Mr. Selfish, or what? <laughs> okay. What about me? I've given you the best years of my death. <laughs> Is that it, then? Three years, thanks a lot, pal, I'm off. No sort of regrets? Not so much as a lump in your throat? No, you're thinking of Kachansky, the only lump you've got down the front of your trousers. Yes, I think flying up to Manchester gave us a certain international kind of sort of... Uh, yeah, yeah, we used to bump That's into all kind of these people on the plane, you know. Everyone was a lovey, weren't they, going up? Yeah. I, I bumped into, what's her name, who did, um, who choreographed Cats? Yeah, the little lady who looks about 19 from the back. Yeah, uh, you remember that? Yeah, yeah. she's actually 70 odd and she's a body like a 20-year-old man. Yeah. Mm. Whereas in series three, when yeah, we went up that horrible yeah. little bus, yeah, it's a glorified minibus, it did feel as if ultraing him on tour. <laughs> saving money here. After the Ali fight. Yeah. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the 
for saving money and keeping everyone together and making sure they got there on time, I think. Oh, that's it. But it did feel like, like the crew second 11, didn't it? Having uh, 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 an away game with Old Tringham. Yeah. Once they left, the they knew they could get away with that. <laughs> buses developed, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tour buses wasn't now. Wasn't that punishment from the big jacko? <laughs> for, for being late. Take away the plane. The, 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 the plane. Yeah. Take away the wings. Take away the wings in the and cars. The boys can't Take fly. away the wings and make them do Italian wordies on that horrible little bus. On the, <laughs> on the way up there. there. Yeah. No, do, do you remember we used to have like say so look and get in a crate of lager so they just don't realise that they're being <laughs> mugged off. <laughs> Yeah, give them plenty give of drinks. Give them plenty Shut of drink. They won't even miss the plane. Oh, my God. Dull their brains a bit. Yeah. yeah, remember those Italians we had to do? We had to scream our lines to it, uh, as fast as we could Imagine at the top of our now. voice. Yeah, one series was sort of, you know, sitting, sipping Sancerre at a jet airliner, you know, above the clouds, you know? And the next series, we're in a bloody horrible little bus. Tra traffic jam on the M6. The yeah. <laughs> Italian wordy. Yeah. With, and, with, with those uh, dreadful videos we used to bring, you yeah, remember? And the, tra and, and the, the series no, was one film. Then. Bus is no video, or was there? Or there what? was a video. We used was to watch it? films, didn't we? And it would be, like, a, a half an hour to work out which film we were going to watch. Uh, Police Academy 6. Police... No, no, <laughs> seen it. We watched seen a lot it. of Star Trek. I remember that. Uh -huh. Yes, there Wouldn't was a lot, be, a lot of Star Trek. A lot of Star Trek. Wouldn't it be a good idea to talk about that when you actually do the third series? We'll revisit it, Norm. It's we'll that exciting. When I'm not here? When you're not you here. talk about me, won't you? Uh, <laughs> oh, we will, yeah. You <laughs> bloody will, I know you. Well, <laughs> yeah. Norman not Don't me send me any no, 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 all, it, was, yeah. it, was all, it was more like, God, let Norman love it, and he... No. Hey, who do you think he is? He was... Who do you think he is? He was turning into Robert De Niro, he was. Look at him. One minute he was a pixel, next minute he was arguing for, you know... Uh, he, he, he wanted top billing. Top billing and, <laughs> and incarnations in his dressing room. He wanted his name above the titles. He wanted Norman Lovett in he wanted it, it, Red Dwarf. No, no, he wanted his name above yeah. the BBC. Norman, so, oh, I so, wanted oh, Norman Lovett's top, Red Dwarf. Norman Lovett's Red Dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Top of the thing. Top, yeah, look, uh, you know, top of the BBC, yeah? <laughs> in fact, I didn't but, want the dwarf in it, I just wanted Norman Lovett. <laughs> Red in Norman. space. <laughs> Norman Lovett. Red Norm. Goes to space. <laughs> Red Norm goes to space. <laughs> uh, he, he wondered why Paul wasn't having it. He'll drive you crazy. Hey! What do you think? You said looking conspicuous. Put this on. What? <laughs> You'll turn a mile like that? I wouldn't... Oh, we filmed this in the Midland Hotel, didn't we? In Manchester. Not this scene, but the scene that is, is going to come. It was filmed in the Midland Hotel in Manchester. Tony again, I think. Is it yeah. it's Tony in here? I think so. Yeah, if in doubt, cast Tony Hawks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there any parts going? <laughs> well, he, uh, those, those days, he was there every week anyway. He was like the fifth dwarf. Funny we used to call him. <laughs> no, you can't. When he played, what's he? When he played Caligula, that was it. Oh yeah. That was just, just so painful to be in a scene with him. Yeah, you were on. You weren't there then, no. no. You were on the no, dole no. by then, mate. You weren't there, Norm. Yeah. You, you actually to... moved to Scotland, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, we moved to Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know how it goes. <laughs> hey, look, you're on the watch. That's the first time you've been on the watch, mate. Handsome. Your what first handsome watch guy. shot. You know what I mean? That's like... it. Yeah. Well, you, you went to Edinburgh, didn't you? Yeah. With all the other dodgy actors. <laughs> what? It's, it's like a. It's like, it's you like know, just... like the, you know the Edinburgh Festival. It's not a festival of comedy. It's oh, a shit. festival of pony. <laughs> Have you ever been up there, then, Danny? Well, no, you someone told me don't bother going. Look, here it is, man. Just, just stick with Look, me, OK? Norm, okay? watch and learn, boy. Look. See there? Wow, you walked that. through a door, that classic? That was really good. <laughs> can't have that much tackle, the fella. You can't see it hanging down from the back, can you? He went on, didn't he? Look, <laughs> Norm, watch and learn, boy. Excuse me, uh, did you see a short human with little pigtails come through here? You watching, Norm? Yeah, I know, you look down. I no, no, not, not all the way. Personality that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Norm, did you, what, did, did, you, did you draw anything from that, mate? These girls were like Quite two funny. Manchester no. air hostesses, weren't they? I think they were. Were they? I am very good in bed. Mark Williams. Very good line, that. Oh, yeah, look at that, Norm. Carry the personal luggages of such beautiful ladies. Peterson! Oh, hi. Peterson, how are you, mate? There's two birds oh, cackling away in the background. They, they were choreographed. Choreographed. Oh, they? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is the part where we walk across. He's just a friend. <laughs> I don't believe it. 
He hasn't seen me since breakfast. <laughs> but I'll come and see you later. Sure. No, I promise I'll come to your room and see you. <laughs> Mister, you'll die for this. <laughs> That girl, see the... I mean, but they were not acting at all, were they? No, they weren't, no. Really? No. That was Peterson, an old mate of mine. We were like that. I never thought. I mean, just think I'm going to be able to see everybody again. <laughs> Boy, give us a break, Dave. It's like a tropical rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hop. Mm, yes, no. Wow! Well, I've never been this close to women before. It makes me want to do something. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> Whatever it is, I want to do a lot of it. <laughs> I wonder what Rimmer's doing. I didn't know it was his wife. I Cod and chips. That Here we go. There's so many split screens in this. It gets a bit. Listen, man. I'm sorry about. That is not you, there, is it? Actually. No, I'm not totally reckless and irresponsible for God's sake. You might be right. Actually. Yeah. No, no that, that is. A, that was um, a. That was a double mate. Didn't have the. Didn't have the same defined buttocks as yourself, young Chris. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> and a much smaller pair of football socks. Looked like he was carrying a little bit of baggage around the buttock department, sir. Get the spacesuits. I don't want you to panic, Arnold. I want you to stay absolutely calm. I'm coming out in a moment, and I want you to keep your cool. Are you ready? Here I come. <laughs> Look, we found a stasis leak on floor 16. I'm dead now, and you're not. But if I save you, you won't die. So I won't die, and you won't be dead I just either. agreed. I <laughs> so the best thing to do is agree with you. I remember being you I in rehearsals like going to Ed, and you, were, you, you wasn't agreeing with it. You were going, let's, we, you know, what, what's this all about? Mm. What does this mean? Shouldn't it be? And all the arguments, like, hang on, shouldn't it be this and shouldn't it be that? And Ed's go, no, it should be this and shouldn't be that. And then Doug would say, no, it should be this and it should be that. And it, was, it was a nightmare to re rehearse and record. And Ed had one of his sort of not quite looking you in the eye things. So let's just rehearse it. Go <laughs> away. I'll be back soon. Mysterious intrigue. Gone now. Gone. I can never think about the plot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's Mac. Rimmer. He thinks he's hallucinating again. <laughs> now you've turned into a chicken. Listen, I just want to apologize. We, we both got a little carried away. I've been under a lot of pressure. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I shouldn't have given you PD. I just got a little riled. Did you indeed? How sad for you, Captain Paxo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Captain oh, Paxo. Oh, this is for the party tonight. Half man, half chicken. You don't scare me, because I know what you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One of those scenes. Uh, right thought, in the chicken nuggets. Sorry, your mm. Shove a large seasoned onion between the lips you never kiss with. <laughs> the lips you never kiss with. That's the one. thing I just said. You have got eight months, PD. Well, we have a bit of a problem here, don't we? Because I don't take orders from poultry. <laughs> no, Rimmer. Make that eight years. Fine. I'll make a note of it, shall I? <laughs> yeah. So the appearance of Kachansky in this oh, right the that was, was real. Right the no right, no that was such a good shot. Oh. So what are you saying, Chris, about Kachansky? Yeah. Smag. Did you say where she was staying? She said something about the Ganymede holiday. Well, uh, no, I, I, here's one for the audience. I, I'll continue talking about this later on in the series, folks, because episode. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> See that spitting image exit? Oh, wow, look at that, Andrew. That's cool. I forgot about that. Yeah, oh, I love this. Is this the one Tony Hawk? Is this Hawks, Tony Hawk's still? Hawks yeah. yeah, the suitcase. Excuse me. <laughs> no, no, down here. Yeah. Have you seen a man who's lost his luggage? Uh, about five foot ten. It's Tony Hawk's doing here. a Cockney no, accent. I oh, no. I'll bet they sent him to the wrong bloody airport again. <laughs> Which was very much the same as Tony Hawk's. <laughs> yes. Was, wasn't it, really? Yes. <laughs> he changed his accent a bit, didn't he? Oh, look at that. <laughs> you wouldn't call that over the top or anything, would you? No. Yeah, I think that's really understated, that no, acting. Don't worry, madam. His strangling days are over. Can't we got it? <laughs> We've got 
So this was the Mid Midland Hotel Midland. where we were staying. That's where yeah. we stayed most of the time. Uh, Honeymoon sweet. I like this scene. That's a good thing. Yes, I like this scene. It's about. Hey, he's all, look, he look, 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 yeah, look. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, look, look. Hey. Eh? He that. always pulled that little move there when he needed it, didn't he? Stick with me, kids. You know what I mean? Just the way it's supposed to be done, like that. Like, like. <laughs> Apprehension. Look. Oh, dear. I'm Doesn't... not the groom. He's the groom. Oh, dear. Look at him. <laughs> eh? Who's that? I don't know, someone just... All that. I thought it was Ed by for a second. Yeah, it did look a bit like Ed. Uh, here we go, look. Why do women always leave me for total smeg God, hail this Caesar salad, little, look. The, the wine. Hail routine, Caesar salad. <laughs> hail Caesar salad. <laughs> <laughs> isn't this the wine, Madeline? Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. This is just the wine. A lot of other words that end in ibble. God is obsessed look, with how they said, look interested. Spends half his life in antique fairs looking for and drinking wine. Yeah, wine. See, I told you it's a wine, see? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it was, yeah, wine was heavily featured. <laughs> wine. Cornflakes, darling. Oh, I'll have some wine. Wine. Smack. <laughs> Out. <laughs> you can tell all that just from a photograph? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Talk about Boom, eh, hey, Chris? Talk about jumping up and down on me ego there. Oh it's horrible. I had to do it, son. It's a big it's hole. Beautiful sit up. Danny could disappear for five minutes and come back in. Uh, bang. <laughs> come on, Harlem, broken up, man. I was in love once. A Sinclair ZX81. This is the she wouldn't load speech, She's isn't not it? for you. She's cheap, she's stupid, and she wouldn't load. <laughs> well, not for me, anyway. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Hulk? What I'm saying, Dave. God, there's two of them in a row. Look, it's... Oh, it's, 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 <laughs> it's sort of a mixture between pain and sort of... <laughs> I could have done it again. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have another go at it? Youth. <laughs> oh, hi, it's you. CP. Oh. Uh, hi. Come in. No, no, we were just passing. Come in. No, no, really, it's OK. <laughs> Cam, come on, we've got Whose idea was the hat? <laughs> It was, it was, wasn't it because she couldn't be there? So, that, so oh, I don't know what the idea was there. It was a very 80s thing. I think you really like him. Oh, I bet. Do you want a screwdriver? I'd rather have a hammer. <laughs> Here he comes. Ah, oh, this, this guy, this, this list is funny as... This guy with a beard. Look. <laughs> it's Jermaine. I'm meaning of the ugly convention. <laughs> Where did you come from? The bathroom? <laughs> well, we don't look very pleased to see you. That beard's funny, isn't it? Funny, isn't it? <laughs> look, look, he's just out. loving it. Look, look. <laughs> he did. But he's you. No, I'm me. Well, who's he then? He's him. Look, look. He's you and you're him and you're him and he's him. Am I still me? <laughs> <laughs> who's eating this chicken? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Look, 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 listen. In five years' time, you find another way to come back in time. Oh, he's gonna eat. So it does work out. Eventually. So how about a friendship from your future bride? <laughs> no way. On your space bike. <laughs> this this wipe's really good, this one. As it ch chases the door, yeah. What do I do now? Go back to where you came from and wait for five years. Have I always been such a smeghead, or did I change? See that? Look at that. Moving away, bringing in the white look. So listen, man, you've, you've lived my life for the last five years. So what's the, the single most important piece of advice that you can give me? Um, oh, yeah. Three years from now, you will go through a cosmic storm and enter a parallel universe. You'll materialise on an exact replica of Earth in the year 1989. You'll God. want to go to the theatre. Whatever you do, don't go and see room for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should see that was a bit of a chase, didn't you? Yeah. The way it chased Hold across... on a minute. There's something missing. <laughs> out. Where's out? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was There's a bit out. missing out of there, isn't there? A question, bit, bit. Doug? It has to be It's out. probably a little bit of a little bit of genius Doug. that ends up on the cutting room floor Doug. there. What yeah. happened to when he goes out? A little bit of genius on the cutting room floor. Snip. You were cut out. That was, that was my funniest bit in the whole series. <laughs> <laughs> it was. This guy was funny. Keep cool and get some sleep. 
There he is, sleeping like a baby. He got his haircut from the Rimmer School of Hairdressing there, didn't he? Yeah, they were, they were in the academy together, weren't they? <laughs> That's a bit of a parting. I don't want you to panic, Arnold, but I've had a jolly big think, and I think I know how to explain... This is the famous scene. Yeah, loads of, Hi. loads of them. And also Kaczynski. Hi. Yeah. I'm mm. staying calm this time. Good. Yo, Rimmer, there you are. We've been looking for you everywhere. There's two of me there. Not now, Lister. Two Listers! <laughs> and a strange man with large teeth. Hey, I'm a cat. Of course you're a cat. Come in. Sit down. There's plenty of room. Now, there's Donna De Stefano. That's uh, really? she's playing Claire Grogan because Claire wasn't available. Perhaps the floor you manager. Like to go uh, trying to cover her face with a hat. Yeah, she was the floor manager, wasn't she? Yeah. But why was there no Claire Grogan? I think uh, we, it was another day, wasn't it? All the splits were done on different days and she yeah. wasn't available that day or something. Okay. From the double -double. <laughs> and that's you from... You've been to a wedding? Looking like a sort of used car salesman. I, yeah. I always thought you looked like hello. Looking like that skid. Yeah. Leslie Phillips. Leslie Phillips. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Type. Or Terry Thomas. Because I'd been to your wedding. My wedding, yeah. yeah. I knew that. And I look like I'm in Aswad when I'm getting married. Good open mouth acting there. Mm. Surely if you sign a contract, you're supposed to be in the whole show, aren't you? But, you know. Ah, well, well, yeah, I don't know. Either bad planning or just lack of commitment. Yeah. <laughs> One way or the other, it's not a good scenario. We I'll shouldn't go, really dwell on it for I'll very long. Bad planning, I'll go for. <laughs> but all I would say is that you know it's unfortunate. And that Rocket, it because I didn't realise Rocket was on it. It's not now. difficult to I see. I told you, if Rocket person. was Series Two, the handheld. Yeah, Rocket was on it there. I stand utterly corrected. You do. I said to you when uh, we saw the handheld, it had to be Rocket. This is series f um, episode five, Queeg. <laughs> series series five, two. Series still series two. Still uh, series two. Still pony acting at the beginning. <laughs> Queeg, a... I remember as being Norman's show. Really? Really? Yeah, well, it was yes. supposed to be Norman's it show. It was supposed to be Norman's But then Charles Organs came and stole, stole it. it from under his feet, didn't it? The big A, <laughs> Mr. A. Well, if that's your opinion, my friend. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, well, Norm. Fight your, the fans. Fight your Ask corner. the fans. <laughs> well, I, I do believe he was the, the most popular guest artist of that series. Uh, Timothy Spall. Oh, yeah. No, this, oh, sorry. We uh, won hands down. Mm -hmm. So how did um, right. how did we get Charles Hogan? Because he was your choreographer, wasn't he? he was um, the on Tongue Tide. Champagne. And he used to do that. He, five guys in a moment. But he yeah. did that advert. Yeah, the, the baby sham man. Oh, have the baby sham. Oh, baby have the baby sham. Yeah. Mm. And he was also on Russell Hartley's show as Mr. A. Mr. A, yeah. Oh, the he was the first exercise man on telly. Of course. Yeah. And he did, um, he used to do the choreography at Pineapple Dance, didn't he? Pineapple used to teach there, yeah. Uh, Many a famous face has gone into his class. <laughs> I remember be, I remember going to one of his classes actually yeah. once when Bonnie Langford was doing Bonnie it as well and he was absolutely horrible to yeah. her because Bonnie Langford kept you know because he makes them all dance in a line mm. well Bonnie Langford kept moving forward and dancing like on level with him she never and he kept going go darling. back you know and he was like that's really course, horrible to that's for chorus girls <laughs> I'm a star <laughs> there you go that's hey. the horse's mouth I mean <laughs> But how did he get this part then? After the first series, um, the guys threw a little restaurant um, dinner meeting type thing, you know, and I think half of you guys couldn't make it because uh, you were quite busy in them days, weren't you? you know? Yeah. And uh, he came to the, the restaurant and basically just did Queeg. Mm -hmm. And Robin Doug thought it would be a good character. Well, Queeg is actually very much his dance. Uh, it is. It's, it's his pineapple dance song, character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And having met it at the at the restaurant table, uh, you know, it was a, it, there was lots of ammunition there. But this was Norman's finest hour in a way. I if you think about it, because Robert we... Doug were always saying they were going to write an episode, a Holly episode. Yeah. And they wrote, they wrote it, and they wouldn't let me look at it. Danny, can I just say, that shirt was obviously a popular one in that series. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, come on, how many times can you wear a shirt in one series? You know, 
The thing is, the thing is, you'd gone from being um, just a voice, that a disembodied voice, to this episode um, having kind of a lead part sort of thing. Kind you of, know? sort of taking the lead part, I guess. You know, <laughs> that's where it began and ended. <laughs> But um, I remember they wouldn't let me look at the script. I was <laughs> dying to look at the script. Yeah. And boy, I wasn't disappointed when we did, finally did it. It was a great episode. Only got one move you can make and then he zaps you. Admittedly, at first glance, that is indeed the way it looks. But what you're failing to take into consideration is that El Scutto here has to go back weasel on in this, aren't you? In four minutes. <laughs> this is a weasel. weasel, that can be said. <laughs> weasel, weasel, weasel. <laughs> Four minutes fifteen. Mega weasel. Remove, <laughs> remove. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what happened to the glove puppets, actually, because I'd love one of them as a glove puppet, you know. Absolutely, and that's why I'll win. Where are the scatters now? In a storeroom in Shepparton. I don't know, you know, Somewhere. probably holding doors open at Norm's flat, I reckon. <laughs> All I do know is if 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 called upon again. Uh, BBC special effects will be able to make much better scutters now. They've had a lot, lot of time making robots. <laughs> They've had a bit of technology. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, they make all the house robots and things like that now, so um, they'll be a fairly uh, much yeah. better. Because they couldn't make the scutters go on a straight line, could they? No. No. Oh. Oh, bog all. Hang on. Norm, you've got that glow of that Mediterranean glow. Yeah, oh, I think we'd had a few of these by then. It's yeah. the main cut. Whoa! Hey, see that stunt there? Fell off the bench, landed on my head. Hey, I'm a scouser. No discernible, no discernible damage. I knew it'd come back to me. Thanks for the warning. I'm sorry, I've had things on my mind. You've still got a wrong? thing in the field. It's like a third eye it's in the middle of... It's bloody... It's a mole. I can't do anything about it, Craig. It's... I'm sorry. <laughs> bloody hell, he goes on and on about it. What's he talking about, that? That there? mole here, yeah. <laughs> There's another one here. There's, you know, I'm not. Perfect. It's not a mole. <laughs> uh, keeps going on about it. It's that. I've never noticed it before, Norm. You've still got that <laughs> nose. I mean, you've still got two it's, eyes. No, no, his nose is straight now. The nose is straighter now. Oh, but you've still got a nose. I've still got a nose. Mm. Oh, this is. Oh, funny. that's funny, actually. My legs. <laughs> In fact, I think there's a there's. Risdale's Peter, Peter Risdale Scott. Mm. We do owe him something for this series. Yeah. Yeah. Peter was the one that really put his neck out for it, wasn't he? Yeah. I think so. Absolutely. But what I'm saying is that I think I, there's a bit of Risdale Scott impersonation somewhere. Uh. Yeah, I think you do it in this scene, don't you? Somewhere. Well, Peter, Peter Isdale Scott is the one who stuck his neck out and got the show done. Me, me. Hey, break beats, mate. Here it is, five nine two. Remember, are you all right? You're much better as a telly. Yeah, it works well, doesn't it? <laughs> that's, that's Peter Isdale Scott. There you go. There you go. Well, now you see, the shuttle was late, you see. The shuttle was late, and they're usually so good up in there, so good they're brilliant. Yeah, he said all this. The yeah. What's happened to him? <laughs> He's pinned into Brannigan, the ship psychiatrist. we better get him fixed. We were filming it in Manchester because BBC London knocked us back, if you remember. Yes. And they uh, they didn't want to know. They thought, oh, this is... Well, we weren't kind of... Well, he was pony. We were in Oxbridge, oh, were we? this was good, wasn't it? Well, this is... yeah. And Ridsdale Scott was the only person who'd pick it up uh, at BBC <laughs> Manchester. <laughs> How'd you do that, Hall? How'd you do that, Hall? <laughs> no, he does the cat in a minute. Oh, we got some stunt coming up here. Show you, man. Which is over there. What, this one over here? What, this one over here? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Trampoline acting at its finest. Yeah. Ah! <sighs> that was horrible. I never want to go through that again. Ah! <laughs> hey! Yeah, he's me! <laughs> hey, ah, look, the, the definitive go. impersonation of the cat there, boy. That's right. An early one. An early one. Shouldn't this plug into something? More oh, yeah, a kitten, really. The white cable. Mm. White cable. Yeah. Oh. Ah. There we go. Fabulous stunt, Craig. Great <laughs> stunt. <laughs> it was mad. It was weird having to hit the trampoline and freeze it so it looked like the set. You know, I, I was just taking off and not landing. Yeah. Not many people knew I did that stunt for you. <laughs> In your dreams. But 
All, out, all of you out there in DVD land, that was not Craig, it was me. Oh, in your dreams. If you don't believe me, ask Chris Barry. All that bragging. For years, he's been getting credit for that stuff. <laughs> on, on, on the back of me. Oh, God. Lunch, breakfast, dinner, tea, supper, the lot. Everyone was really worried about that, actually. You sure you can do it? You sure you can clear it? It was just... Yeah, they were worried they might see me. <laughs> I'll have a baby sham. <laughs> I am Greek 500, the Red Dwarf backup computer. All vessels at the Jupiter Minor well, Corporation. You see him reading now? Backup computer to replace yeah, the yeah. he's not too hot on the old water key. It's not easy to do. I am therefore um, assuming control of this vessel. You know. This is mutiny, Mr. Quig. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you swing from the highest yard arm in Titan docking port for this day's work. <laughs> <laughs> What's Article 5? You're holding your own, Norm. Yeah. Yeah. No, the goose is great between the two of them. Yeah, it's good. Come Hold on, you can't do this. Holly's got an IQ of 6,000. Yeah, right on. Is that what he told you? <laughs> well, what is it, then? It has a 6 in it, but it's not 6,000. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? 6. <laughs> 6? Do me 11. That's a poor IQ for a glass of water. <laughs> How come he knows all the answers to questions about science and space and that when we ask him? He consults a book. What a slime ball. He gets all his information on astronomy, phenomenology and physics from a single reference book. What's the book? The Junior Encyclopedia of Space. <laughs> the only one he could find which had pictures. You see, I did what we, one would call there a dull feed. Mm. What's the book? What's the book? But yet I try and make it interesting. Yeah. Try to be it. But without ruining the punch. But yeah. there was um, a lot of arguing going on while we were doing this about, like, feeds and punchlines. And, there was. You know, and so I, why do I have to do all the feeds? Why can't I do the punchline? You know, and all that kind of stuff. And you just leave the punchlines to the rap boys. <laughs> it's just like it was all ego, wasn't it, really? Yeah, it was, yeah. You were kicking on this show, you know, Norm. Yeah. Yeah, you're very good, Norm. Your terminals have been bypassed. You've been retired. I'm in my prime. You'll be given light duties, night watchmen. But let's see if, if there's any more of those lines, which I find very interesting. Run by Queek 500. I love the way that Queek Queek 500. 500. Dan, dan, dan. It's the way his eyes opened on the hundred. Mm. So, what lines, Chris? Those boring lines. The boring lines feed that we're trying really to make. What was the book? Carry the scene over. Yeah. Uh, Something like which way? Yeah, 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 there's lots of that. Who did it? Yeah. Why? Right. <laughs> ah, Lister, this is all a bit different, isn't it? See those scuffs? I'll point one up, obviously, up if I have. Polishing, repairing. Because I usually did. I'm not bitter. <laughs> Fire extinguishers work? And when I say work, I mean they work when you turn them on, as opposed to when you happen to pass them and cough, <laughs> as they did under Holly's regime. Yeah, I suppose. Look, Lister. No point feeling sorry about Holly. <laughs> so, Norm, did you look upon the like uh, the arrival of Charles Organs as a another computer? It's almost a threat to your future. Your and, it, it, and, 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 and it brought you up a peg, like you know. It looks to me like you have definitely. No, I was happy to. You I went love, into I loved the writing. Of did it. you ever think? Yeah, I loved the writing Robin of Doug it. And everyone would I meet couldn't Paul wait Jackson to do it. And, and Ed Bike get rid of me. Well, to, go, to get rid Charles of me. No, it wasn't me. even yeah. that. No, I knew um, I'd created the Queen. Definitive. Yeah, I knew the joke that as I created it, and I was still had a job. Yeah, but there was a vicious <laughs> rumor, Norm, that I don't it was, know. I don't know. that you know he was brought in to give you a bit of a juicing. <laughs> That's rubbish because uh, I enjoyed doing all the lines. I don't know about that, lines. boy. They were good lines. Mate. They said, "Look, we need some. We need to yeah, push this yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he's riding it easy. He's got you, us. You got us guys sitting there. You, you're there banging away, coming in with your big stompers. Well, you know, I was just and, and job, basically, but... you were on a ticket to ride. Basically, I just did about my, the pun. I did my job. Ticket to ride, man. You know, round the world ticket, man. As Brian Clough would say, did a good job. Yeah. But I noticed, if you look at the intensity... <laughs> Do it properly. Chris. I used to interview Brian, Brian Clark properly. Clark, properly. Like, Chris. Like, he did a good job, and that's what we pay him for. for. <laughs> I'm not a yes man. If he doesn't hit the target with those comedy lines... <laughs> Then we remove him. Remove him. Substitute or him. Or we bring in a, We bring in somebody. <laughs> brilliant. To... Brilliant. Yeah, but, hey, brilliant. Uh, Norman, if you look at your performance in this, it's got a certain edge to it. 
like no other show yeah, has. Well, I was excited. I would like, you know, I, would I like was involved just, in the program. I would just like program. to put that one on the table for the guys um, to think about. I think I Does was involved in the whole Does his performance have a certain and I, and edge I, to it? And I what felt, do you think, Brian? I felt part of it, yeah. That's the reason why does I'm his explaining performance, to you, Danny. I Why? think he does rise to the occasion. <laughs> ah, thank you <laughs> very I'm much, Mr Clough. I'm explaining it. Yeah. Look at that, an yeah, ancient clock. I know. It, ancient, that's, that's antiques in space, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I do believe. <laughs> if you don't believe me, Why wait till he gets the punchlines later. The venom. <laughs> ah, now, Holly and I had this little understanding. I would say, Holly, wake me up at six o'clock without fail. Then Holly would pretend to forget and wake me up around ten with breakfast. Okay? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Quig, I can see we've already cultivated a special understanding. I scratch your back, you stick a knife in mine. <laughs> All right, give me a uniform. It's exercises first. Ah, ah. yes. Now, once again, <laughs> Polly blesses little interface leads and I have... Where do those R's go in later Move series? It, those what? You steal a lot of R's. <laughs> I don't know. I, I sort of stop it. my yeah. acting craft moved on. And you moved on. You improved, yeah. sir. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Leaving us behind I became less pony. <laughs> <laughs> yes, less pony. Yes, yeah, strip all that ham right down to the bone. That's what I see. I didn't manage to eradicate all poniness, but I. Uh, I think or, or, all ponality. <laughs> <laughs> ponality. <laughs> I think I think Norman was walking behind you, picking it up. Three, four. Holly and I are this little understanding. Five. Oh, yes, fight the flap. <laughs> I want control of my own body back. Oh, you were knackered after this, I remember. You were pass out. Remember when you would, he was making you run up and down the spot and I thought you were going to go? Yeah, I think, the, I mean, there were firsts here. Like, uh, how do you run when you're passed out? Yeah, you, know you were running unconscious. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, class. Pure class. <laughs> and you know something? Oh, it got snagged on all my chest hair and it didn't half hurt. What's the matter with him? He fainted after the first 500 yards. <laughs> what? And you made him jog two and a half miles unconscious? It's regulations. Yes! Nice one, Queen! <laughs> right. 0700. Time for his astro navigation revision. <laughs> this slap. Better wake him up. That's good. <laughs> Revise and learn pages 25 to 59. You will then I was genuinely perspiring. Oh, yeah. You will do a five-mile jog. There was a few takes of that. returning to you control of your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, eh? I think the holograms can sweat, too. Hey, I can't get any food. Try a different machine. I tried them all. I'm sorry. You have run out of credits. They've all gone crazy. Quick, what's happened to the machines? So Charles Organs today is still choreographing? Mm. He did Five Guys named Mo, then he took that all over. He's the director in it, Mark. All over the world. He just uh, done a just just a, he just came over and did a touring version of it. If you want food, you have to work. Work? Hey, you better get to it, because you're looking at one hungry pussy cat. Both of you. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I do not do the W word. Cats do not work. <laughs> I got a note from my mummy. From now on, Boom. everybody works. No? Not this pussy. Where were you? Well, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh. And look at me, I'm disgusting. I look like you in your best clothes. <laughs> look, it's easy. Just imagine the floor's Queeg's face. <laughs> 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 Was it the great escape in here? Do do. Mm. Do, do, do do And high noon as well, I think. Oh. Uh, well, is it Chain Gang? High yeah. noon. Is there what a one? Chain Gang. No, it's something else. It's another episode. Really. Great escape and high noon. <laughs> I always remember that line. Marigold and blue. Are you Marigold. crazy? Yeah. Are you crazy? What about my naps? I'm a cat. I need to nap. If I don't nap nine or ten times a day, I don't have enough energy for my main snooze. <laughs> Oh, dudes, who goes there, friend or foe? <laughs> See the edge on. Look, Chris, look out for the edge. Look out for the edge. Watch. I think there's edge. Look, watch, watch. What you been up to, man? It looks like an old northern football manager. Shining me torch down the corridor. Preston North End. Turning it off. 
Do what? Signing it again. <laughs> Life's pretty full, you know. You've got it. Oh, that's right, look. Yeah. He's got the old E-type hat, hat on. He has, you know. Looks like it's one probably one the same looks cap like one from Better Life, isn't it? I can't it? believe it with that. I chose, I chose the scarf. <laughs> he's got us working, otherwise we don't eat. Well, no doubt he knows what he's doing, unlike certain senile, gibbering wrecks of computers we could mention. Still, it was nice to see how everyone rallied round... Look at the edge. Ball. You can, you can see, see his now. square edges, can't you? Huh? <laughs> oh, I remember it well. Queek says I've got an IQ of six. No, no, my fault. leaped to my defence saying, fault. really, that explains everything. <laughs> no, that was... I always thought that you should have run past again there. <laughs> like you've done a lap, you know what I mean, already. <laughs> I believe you. I could prove it if I wanted. There's no need. I want to prove it. Well, OK, what's the square root of 2049? <laughs> oh, you want me to prove it, do you? <laughs> no, no. Clearly you do. Clearly I just told you that. Look at the edge on him, look. 49 will prove I have an IQ of 6,000. What is it? You wouldn't prefer a sports Are those rivets <laughs> on yeah. the side of the screen? Yeah. Are they painted? Are they the same colour as the... No, they're painted different colours in the in the bunk. But not there. But not there, there no. yeah. Different rivet, you see. That's lighting. It's, uh... But that's it's blue lighting, isn't it? I think they renewed, all the, they renewed all the rivets. But not there. The, not those. Yeah, Monty, Montague... <laughs> so had, no one it, spotted that at the time. Well, no, uh, I, I think what they it. said was... Like, oh, I, for, I forgot to do the rivets. <laughs> he probably thought, I forgot to do the rivets. John, could you give me a bit of lighting to camouflage it? You know, that was funny. Wasn't there's the encyclopedia. Yeah. You, you're talking over Norm's big scene here. Yeah. I know. But talking about bloody rivets. You yeah. Know. Oh. No, I know, your your I know. performance is riveting, though. That's the whole it's idea. Riveting, <laughs> yeah, riveting performance. Of, of this, what we're doing. Yeah, and I love that scene right. that I'm talking all over. Actually, and I love Norman in it. If they yeah. want to watch it without but the he talking, just proved then they it. can he do that. He did On the DVD. We're about Norman's yeah, edge. Look. <laughs> I don't know, not much. <laughs> it's about a team game, you know, I thought. No, that's football, yeah. Norm. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> and and you, in this one, and every man, man of the match. And every team's got to have its substitutes. I, I, yeah, this is, this is about thought... stealing much limelight as you can and getting off before you're found out. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. I did, that's why I left. Wait, you can't... <laughs> that what you used to say? I can't remember whether it was Red Dwarf or Britis. Someone used to walk up the end of it and sort of say, Chris, you know, if it was a football match tonight, you were man of the match. Yeah. I mean, they only ever said it once, and it was only about Britis, you know, but... Uh, no, that was, that was about Red Dwarf, well, Chris. <laughs> Red Dwarf was about trying to get that knife in the other guy's back as quick as possible. <laughs> Before he got too many woofers, mate. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he's getting too many woofers, I think I'll just throw a little dodgy feed line for him, you know? Uh, trying to get the ni needle between the third and fourth ribbon penetrating the heart, sir. Where is it? I don't care. No, I, I think that Now, like, we had no chance in this show, cos Norm, Norm, Norm had, uh, you know, he had, he, he had his Barkley card woofer. Oh, sorry, mate, I think you've got the wrong attitude for show business. It's true. <laughs> your dirty sock basket. I'll just have the toast. <laughs> I mean, when you've got a when you've got a woofer sitting at the end of the show like that, you can do no wrong. Yeah, it's true. You've got a woofer like that sitting yeah, there. That was a good episode all the way through. That had a yeah, good plot. Yeah, but yeah, only because really you knew plot. that you had the cannonball <laughs> at the end. I thought it had a good story. I thought it was good. What about simple basic? So you hated that gag at the end then? No, it's good. Ah, oh, well then, you see what I mean. But, it was you know, good. It's the end. If, the if that was a sure enough bankable woofer, what wasn't? How many more episodes have I got to do with you, Dan, till I come to series seven? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have a break of about three years. I got burnt once and I learnt my lesson. Don't trust anybody. There was this one lad, Porky Roebuck. <laughs> I'd known him ten years. Porky Roebuck, I love this story. <laughs> I love this story. <laughs> Wonder where Porky Roebuck came but from. I'm allowing everyone to speak over the speech. No, no, I insist I'm want, not doing so. Yeah. Because... Pinkle, squirmy, blip, blip. <laughs> 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 Pinkle, squirmy. Do you know, I still, when, I'm, when I want to show people that I'm a little bit mad, I use that <laughs> Pinkle every day. Yeah. Blip, blip, Pinkle, squirmy, blip, 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 I don't want people to get on blip, the train, blab, blob. You know, was it, those old Is that what it was? Blip, blab, blob. Think of, Pinkle, squirm, you blip, blab, blob. People never got on the train. <laughs> blip, blab, blob. Just went to the next crowded I compartment. think I'll stand. I thought it had a blib in it. No, blip, blab. Pinkle, squirmy, blip, blab, blob. That's my latest version of it. <laughs> I remember blip, blip, blip. I it's been modernized. Blip, blab, blob, blib. Is it all right? Oh, That's the remastered version, that, mate. Exactly. I think it was blib, blob, blib. And actually bagsied my right buttock. The original, yeah. <laughs> 
If it hadn't been for Yak Attack, the remastered the version was. Yak Attack and Tuck. I do it, I do it like it, sort of NCT dudes, you know. Mm -hmm. I just walk up to him and go, put Pinkle Squirmy, blib blab blob, and Alex looks at me daggers, you know. <laughs> the point is, says, you know, please, we know you're mad, but don't let everyone. I don't, I don't, I want you to be I like a normal human being. Uh, normal hubby. <laughs> I have the same yeah. look. I think we're Yoda getting to that crucial stage. It's just, you know, about 23 22, minutes. 22, 23. Mm. We have to start, you know, we, we start, you see, look at that. We start kick-starting the old uh, the no, wolf machine. The, what did I call it the other day? The zenith. The, the zenith. Yeah. There we go, look. The zenith. We're starting to build up to the big wolf. Compute. Compute. The product moment correlation of dx over dy minus the sum of the set p all over the sum of r, given that r is the ratio of p over s, where k is a constant and s is an integer variable. Just one small question. Yes. What does compute mean? <laughs> <laughs> see that? <laughs> no, you can't buy woofers like that, boy. <laughs> you see, if he'd had to learn that speech, we'd still be doing it there now. Yeah, we'd still be doing it now. Oh, speech oh, have to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Norm, what are you doing with your eyes? Look at this. Magical. Look, yeah. That's, uh, Isn't it? It's look, look, it's look, look, this is Norm's tough guy look. Mm. I love it. I love it. You're mournful, heroic and sexy and all in one. Yeah. It's a bit like Oddie Murphy with a good role. There's been girls throwing their knickers at that screen, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> Wait, what do you want? I want, you. I want my shit back. <laughs> Too bad. You want Red Dwarf, you've got to fight for her. Steady on, Hall. This man's a nutter. I challenge you to the game of your choice. May the greater mind win. I love this bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> for the winner, command of Red Dwarf. And for the loser? The loser will be erased, terminated, oblivionized. God, he really picked up the pace, bye, bye, didn't he? Eh? Hey? <laughs> Name your game. Chess. It can be anything, any game at all. <laughs> Chess. Drafts, poker, anything. Chess. It's a beauty of snakes and ladders. Chess. Monopoly, maybe. I'll I'm a little know. anxious Chess. about those lights we're seeing in the Chess. screen, the Transfer reflected lights. Ah, they're, they're, but I think we can safely say they were lights from the top of the ship, sir. Can we? <laughs> Not television lights reflected in the screen. No, no, sir, we would never be that unprofessional. Mr. Pomfrey, I, no, that, I can never I can't remember him that worrying that about that. It's called a knight, actually, Holly. Knight to King Bishop Three, Queen to Rook Eight, checkmate. That's an illegal move. Oh, sorry, queens don't move like that. I was thinking of poker. <laughs> Cluedo, you can be Colonel Mustard. If it's any help, I've been studying his tactics and there's a pattern emerging. Every time you make a move, he makes one too. <laughs> Well spotted, well spotted, can't, can't, eh? It's the lad. Just padding him up there, you know? No, I remember this as being incredibly high tech back then, you know? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. To Queen 5. Horsey to Bish 3. Bishop Pawn. To Queen 3. Takes Pawn. Brawn to King 4. Horsey to Bish 3. Brawn takes Horsey. Bishop Pawn takes Pawn. Bish takes prawn. Bishop to knight five. <laughs> Double check and mate sucker. Bish. Oh, yeah, didn't see that. <laughs> Holy man, what have you done? He's lost. And the loser gets erased. Noughts and crosses. <laughs> yeah, 25. Yeah, coming up to 26. This is where Norm really comes into his own now, mate. Sad, isn't it? A well written episode, actually. No, yeah, that's yeah. what I said. It was brilliant. Which plan was that? This is your funeral, isn't it? What kind of plan it was. Well, why didn't we stop them? We thought he had something up his sleeve. Yeah, now we got Queeg forever. And that's a long time. <laughs> well, dudes, I've come to say goodbye. See the despondent bit? Oh, the pulse. song, eh? Hey? This yeah. is it. This is where you Last break out into your Perry Como. Well, see you, Dave. Hope it works out with you and Kachansky. Cheers, Hull. See you, Cat. I hope one day in the not-too-distant future you fulfil your heart's desire and get your end away. <laughs> Thanks, man. And Arnold, well, Thanks, I hope man. you meet those aliens you're looking for who can give you a body and you become an officer and you get a sex life and all the other millions of things you feel you need to make you happy. Thanks, Hull. Well... Oh, I'm filling up, I'm filling up. Next time you got the dosh together to go down the this is where I thought it started to, to get quite American. 
Ah, it's, you know, because like, American yeah, sitcoms yeah. always have that kind of, you know, sort of sad bit in, in that, 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 that sentimental bit before yeah. the big punch, yeah. Yeah. before the final punch. Oh, one yes. last thing. 45.265881. What? That's the square root of 2049. <laughs> I may not be fast, but I get there in the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, as they always say, finish on a song. I'll say goodbye to love. <laughs> I never cared. Only you know. Or die. <laughs> time and time again, the charts for love has passed me by. I felt genuinely sad at this point. Mm. It was the end of the series as well, nearly, wasn't it? Yeah, fifth. Okay, suckers. Get this into your stupid thick heads. There's only one thing I want to say to you. What? What's happening, dudes? <laughs> we are talking Jape of the Decade. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait for it, Norm. Wait, 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 wait. We are talking April, May, June, July and August fall. <laughs> Woof. That's two in one, not two. Well, we're still waiting. Yes, that's right. I am Queeg. <laughs> what? <laughs> Queeg never existed. It was Three. me all along. Four. <laughs> Wheeze of the week, mate. Five. Going round in circles for 14 months. Get my information from the junior colour encyclopedia. Six. The respect you have for me is awesome, innit? Seven. You staged the whole thing. That's right, suckers. And the moral of the story is, appreciate what you've got, because basically, I'm fantastic. <laughs> Eight woofers. Eight. There we go. Eight woofers in your last scene. What's, what's going on? Oh. Eh? More woofier money, mate. Woofers. <laughs> Super. I haven't seen that for years. I uh, enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you had to stop. You had to stop and let the audience catch up with woofers. No, you just waited till they finished laughing. You know? That's what you do as a comedian, isn't it? So. Yeah. Otherwise, you're talking through it, which is silly. It was very good, Norm. You knew where your laughs were. I told you. Yeah. Provide. You knew where your laughs were. But boy. wasn't it well written? I mean, that's such a well. Don't grovel because Doug's over there. No, is he still there? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, but is he still there? <laughs> is he still there? There he goes. <laughs> This, was this like is a new beginning. teeth. This I absolutely Look hated this. every the second of this dance musical. routine. The fans loved it. Just look at that. Got laughs already. It is such a and choreographed a... by the one and only it's Charles Organ. So gay. Right, it's just... Yeah, but we were gay in I those days. I just felt so <laughs> gay. Yeah, but we I mean... were gay in those days. Honestly. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it? Look at the laughs you're getting, man. This was just trying to capture the pink pound, this was. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Those just, I haven't said anything yet. I'm absolutely stunned by what I'm watching, <laughs> as I am every time I watch it. Oh. Now, you both did very, very well. I mean, Danny was in his. Element. It's well disguised the fact that they keep the cameras off. <laughs> off certain people. My hair was slamming though in them days. I tell you. Even though I say it myself. But we rehearsed literally for. 98% of the allotted yeah. rehearsal yeah. time in yeah. Acton was for this song. Uh, <laughs> it just made a change. <laughs> But when I thought he was going to come and do a choreography for us, I thought it was going to be something like really cool and hip, you know? Not something like Saturday night at the London Palladium, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> and that floor was like glass, and we had these like heels on. I, I nearly broke an ankle a few times. 
And see, at the end of his day, I was wrapping us our legs around each other. This dream I had last month on the dream recorder. It was sensational. I, w I hope you stop dreaming about me like that, Danny. Me? <laughs> There's that shirt again. Yes, it's bad. What's going on with that shirt? I think it was the only shirt available, wasn't it, that week? Well, how many times can you wear a shirt in a series? Uh, that, I think budget, mate. If, I'm not, the budget, if I'm not mate. wearing it, I was cleaning it. That was budget restrictions, mate. No, that was the colour thing. They said, look, how can we get colour into this shirt? Look, just give the cat some more costumes. Just wear that colourful shirt. days are over, buddy. You see, totally maladjusted. Nice you talking about Pink Pound? Look at him on the, that bike. Come on. <laughs> if that, you know, I mean, you go out at eight o'clock in the morning, you'll see people riding around the city all day like that. <laughs> clap and cover right the along. Eyes. See someone like that. That's how I met Lorraine. In the in the middle of the winter, dressed in bicycle shorts. You know, come on. Yes, I gave her the older. There's something in your eye. Because there's nothing very heterosexual about that outf outfit you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come there's on. There's nothing very heterosexual about it at all. None. Nothing. And Look, prices as well. Go into the dressing room, and there's the outfit. I just put it on. I mean, come on. Look at her. <laughs> in the yellow. Come on. <laughs> you should be down at heaven. Look, look, look. If you walked into heaven on a Saturday <laughs> night, just as that, you'd fit right in. Well, things were a little bit stilted in the taxi. All my jokes about her nose hadn't gone down too well. <laughs> and there were good gags, I mean, quality gags, like, where are we going? Who knows? <laughs> no cheap shots. Anyway, when we got to the restaurant, she must have had an attack of nerves or something. She said she was going to the loo and ended up climbing out of a toilet window. <laughs> There's something about that chin strap that makes you look like one of those dodgy police officers. Only suddenly she had to move to Pluto. With a sad weasel of a man, you know that, Remy? Really? No, yeah, man. Sign of the time, you know. You used to do a lot of cycling then, though, didn't you, as well? Oh, I did. Trickery. Yeah. They're not the people. You don't need your books on. You used to arrive at work on a bike on a bike sometimes, yeah, didn't you? Came by bike, yeah. Yeah. On a motorbike. No, on a no, cycle. Oh, oh god, god, she's a cycle. Because yeah. remember in eighty eight anyway, there was that storm. All right. Yeah, yeah. And Norman didn't come to rehearsals one day. Mm. That's right, he couldn't make it. That's because oh, he was yeah. at a party the night before. Yeah. No, it wasn't. He was it wearing wasn't. his hard hat. I was uh, yeah. cut off. OK, go on. Is it the I remember going to bed that night and saying to my wife, uh, my ex-wife, uh, how... Um, Your ex-ex-wife? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I only make the one mistake, sir. Um, and just saying, oh, listen, that wind, isn't it romantic? And um, I woke up the next morning and a 400-year-old oak tree had fallen through our garage. Yeah. You yeah. know? So, would you like a worm do? What's that then? <laughs> I like this. What's what? A worm do? What about it? Is this still the opening line? <laughs> Look, you're not giving me the right reply. But what is the right reply? I come up to you and say, excuse me, would you like to join me in a cocktail? You say yes. I say, would you like a worm do? You say, what's a worm do? And I say... Oh, it wriggles along the ground like that. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> you could not pull a rotten tooth out of a dead horse's head. You could not pull a rotten tooth out of a dead horse's head with that. The Earl of Sandwich invented the sandwich. Samuel Morse invented the Morse code. Plato invented the plate. How did you break your nose, Norman? And now football. I, Holly, have invented football. the Holly Hop Drive. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. It's monumental, this. It's epoch making. The Holly Hop Drive can transfer any object instantly God, to any you really other point had, in space. You know, your backup what? after Queen, didn't you? Eh? Go back to Earth. Firing the whole cylinders, were you? Eh? What? Eh? You mean we could go back to Earth like right now, this instant? Right on. Rock and roll. You know, you know that spot on top of your head oh, there, no. no? Do you not ever get the makeup woman to put a bit of makeup on it? <laughs> it's really annoying you, isn't it? I'll get it done. I'll get it. Next time we work together, I'll get it done. Right? Whatever that may be. You know? <laughs> Oh, I never. I will get makeup for it. <laughs> it's just a box. Oh, the old drive. That was funny, wasn't it? Classic. It's fairly straightforward. <laughs> if you want to start it, press start. You can work out the rest of the controls for yourself. <laughs> This was, I mean, Robin Doug kind of, I think they did this deliberately just to, you know, just to show, the, I mean, the, the props we were getting was so crap, they kind of just you know, pushed this, it out, didn't they? Well, if we're going to be this crap, it makes us make a feature of it, do you know what I mean? Mm. This scene was one of the, the, the famous publicity photographs we had. Yeah, with the Hollyhock drive in the front of it, yeah. 
See? Nine, That's true. Eight, yeah. Six, yeah, you see, five. you weren't yeah, concentrating on that one there, was you? Mark. Did I? I've always had a bit of a blind spot with sevens. <laughs> We're going to die. <laughs> well underplayed there, no Mr. Problem. Barry. Well. Lower down. <laughs> One, blast off. We've done it. We're home. It worked? What on earth? You must be joking. Half a mo. It's gone. What else? <laughs> The earth. <laughs> it's missing, it's not there. It's not as Wait a minute. Sorry, I was looking out the wrong window. <laughs> no. No, it has yeah, gone. gone. The entire solar system is missing. Well, what is actually out there? Nothing, just space. Holly, <laughs> the thought occurs that we haven't actually reached Earth. The further thought occurs <laughs> that we haven't actually budged a smegging inch. <laughs> I think you're very... You were almost Brian Cluffy there a bit. Yeah. The thought occurs. <laughs> the thought occurs, David. What? It's like a only much, much bigger. Wait. There is something there. It's another ship. Aliens! <laughs> it looks like an exact copy of Red Dwarf. Eh? So what's happened? Well, somehow, don't ask me how, we've jumped into a parallel universe. We've entered the fifth dimension. What's the fifth dimension? Here we go, look at that, 848. We're coming to the end of that 10 minute that, block. That plot, yeah. the plot either bit, yeah, is Ready to go up a gear. Really to go sure. up. We've set up um, you, the bird pulling thing and all that, with the hypnotizing. Sounds like my parents in bed. <laughs> so hang on, Second this is another red dwarf. With another it's a parallel dwarf. universe. We've sort of tickled them with maybe there's going to be equivalents <clears throat> of the characters. What do you mean? Well, for instance, in this universe, could be that Hitler won the Second World War. Could be something even more incredible, like perhaps Ringo was a really good drummer. <laughs> Hang on, I'm linking up Rush with their on-board computer. A little bit Hello? rushed, Norm, oh, really? but you knew it. Hello, very good. I'm Holland. Yeah, you were feeling the pressure, you weren't you? Really? You, you still, still had a deposit to take to the you bank. Adjusted. Yeah. You yeah. adjusted. Competition here. You adjusted. Boogie on over, and we can sort it out. Right off. Look how young Hattie looks there, eh? See you, Hull. See you, Hill. <laughs> how old is Hattie? I'm in She's, there. She's um, hurtling towards Aye, fifty not, without um, not allowed to say without, in without it breaks. She's. Uh, uh, hurtling towards, though, you know? Hurtling towards. Not just sort of meandering. Uh, hurtling towards 50 without a seatbelt on, sir. Every detail to our red dwarf. The very funny smell around here that I don't like one bit. It's Chris. You like your moon boots, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. This is mine. <laughs> so where's the other rumour in list, eh? Smell like your moon boots, man. Bertish and Angie Bruce, Angela Bruce. Remember all the way through rehearsals, we did not know what Suzanne Bertish was doing, did we? We just thought, what is going on? We just couldn't see how she was getting rumour at all. And then on the night, bang, she pulled it right out of the bag. She's a national... She was brilliant. She put, But in rehearsals, it just didn't look like she was getting it. She's an Abbey National... Not Abbey National, the... Uh, that's right, may as well be. It may as well be the Abbey National. National but she was brilliant, you know. But yeah, there was always faith that she would get. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a good actress, actually. She's good. Oh, she's, she's a real lovey, sir. She didn't she's, want to pick she's, it too soon. She's legit, sir. She's a legit actress. She's yeah. legit. And she's good as well. And she's yeah. very good. And she's yeah. good, yeah. She's she was good. very Lister esque. Oh God! You see that? She's got like naked men in the um, on the inside of the door. I don't know if everything's opposite. It, it seems like that. So you come from a, a female-orientated society? Well, it's not exactly female orientated anymore. She's good female, you man. With equal Brilliant. rights for men, Mark. She's better than you. You know when. <laughs> Where does she actually come from, friend? <laughs> Where does Stop. she actually? Come? I think she's from Birmingham Haven't originally. You the male unit by Jeremy Greer. <laughs> Jeremy Greer. Well, it's <laughs> parallel to ours as well. So hang on, um, who's the first person on the moon? Nellie Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nellie Armstrong. So, who wrote Hamlet? Will Shakespeare. Ah, so he was a bloke. No, she was a woman, Wilma Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, she wrote all the greats. Rachel the Third, Taming of the Shrimp. <laughs> oh my God, what's this? 
Like Camera Monthly magazine. But it's disgusting. <laughs> it's full of semi-naked blokes draping themselves over sports cars. What's wrong with that? You're not one of those boring masculinists, are you? <laughs> so sexual attitudes are opposite as well. What's that, my little cupcake? You'll never know. But it just looks ridiculous. I mean, these models are deformed, hugely deformed. Makes one feel quite inadequate. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that, my pretty. Hey, holograms can touch each other. Hey, 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 I hate to break up the party, but is there somebody missing? How do you mean? <laughs> well, listen. Talk about set up a gag, opposite. you know. Rimmer, female opposite. Where's mine? All right. Mooching around the cargo decks, I think. Wow! All my life I've waited for this moment and now it has arrived. Hey, listen, if you hear me screaming, do not, I repeat, do not come to the rescue. Wow! I'm gonna get you, little kitty. I think he's in for a bit of a shock. Why? His opposite isn't female. What is it? It's a dog. <laughs> Right, good setup. Like, uh, good oh, setup. Okay. There is. Matt, he was really Matt, good as well. When they go off and leave my own like this. A redneck. He was so yeah, good at this. <laughs> yeah, he did uh, say dog, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> look, look you got to hold that for so long, no. man. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure he wants to eat me. <laughs> Well, trash my shorts. What a funny-looking dog. Danny, did you and uh, Matt talk about how you were going to do this? Sort of uh, he was pretty much there, really. I mean, you know, it's just it's all set up. One of those gags that you just have to be there. Right. You know? And the script sort of dictated it as yeah. well. I love the way he's got his, uh, his those, like, teeth at the bottom, yeah. They look so cool. Look, applause. What? Well, sure. It's a great line, though. I've got to smell your butt. Man, I could man. smell you if you was on Mars. <laughs> When's the last time you take a bath? Oh, please don't say that word. What, bath? You said it again. Now, listen up. If you're going to say that word in front of me, please spell it. When's the last time you took a beat? But this scene, of course, is tailor-made for great uh, woofers because woofers. it's, it's verbalising animal behaviour. Yeah, yeah. Which is all about spelling dongers and all that yeah. sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. What? Yeah, Holly says it's going to take about 17 hours to repair the hot drive, so I thought we'd go and have a few... <laughs> ...bevies like... Yeah, 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 well, come on! Yeah! <laughs> Tongue tag. Oh, oh, reprise of that super number. Howard did this as well, didn't he? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them two. School disco dancer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be getting on, don't they? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. Like a house of fire. You can say that again. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Mind you, we've got a pretty good conversation going on here. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Can you imagine being on bloody Funny, really. I'm not normally East. good at talking to the opposite sex. No, I'm not. I run out of things to say. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. She's even aping the way your legs yeah, are moving and all that. Yeah. Oh, no, she's excellent. All this. So, you're a girl, then? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's nice. Hang on. Haven't you got something in your eye? <laughs> you're trying to hypnotise me, aren't you? No, of course not. Well, stop staring, then. I'm not staring. Yes, you are. OK, I read it in this book. It's great for picking up bits of... Jotty. <laughs> I've well, never used the mesmer stare in have you never real life, no. no. Oh, yes. Totty. 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 <laughs> and how many times have you used the Bentley? To drink. I always get like this when I'm tanked. Yeah. Not often, actually. Well, well, you usually backfired, right? <laughs> have, you got, have you still got it, Chris? Have you the signs, then? What signs? Yeah. Wearing have you still got the old pump and wagon? <laughs> It's still available. It's still available. I still yet, yet, yet. <laughs> 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 
Begging well, it's years. <laughs> Chris, I always wanted to go in the pump pum wagon. It's well, it'll happen. I, I've, I've been waiting. The guy said he was going to do it. I know, I know. It's like no, he was going to give me give me a ride in the pump pum wagon. It's going to happen, Dan. To let me, <laughs> let me experience some of that glory you get. <laughs> it really will happen. <laughs> Believe our prof said that about ten times. <laughs> Oh You're a God! Great conversationalist, you know that I am, but I ain't said nothing yet. Yeah, that's what I like best. You all listening? Go on the barge. You want anything? Yeah, I'll have a grenade, thank you. A grenade? Yeah, I want to play fetch with the dog. <laughs> But is this how discos were at the time? Oh, the like lots of chrome and lights. Yes. No, this was supposed to be a sp it was space a, age yeah. equivalent of it. Really? Do <laughs> you want to keep your beer cool? Stick it between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> what was all that about? Oh. That is the most awful woman I've ever met. Is she's she? you. She's absolutely repugnant. She doesn't treat me like I'm a normal human being at all. She seems to regard me as some sort of discardable sex object. She's the female equivalent of you. Nonsense. She's maladjusted. <laughs> Trust my luck to end up with El Weirdo while you trap off with a one with... So Red Dwarf is a timepiece. Is it a period piece in any way? Look at it now. There's nothing really dated about it. Exactly. Because it's set in the future. It gave us that advantage of not being um, subject to fashion, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you look at the young ones now, say... And the young ones appear so dated because the fashions were so dated and the concerns of modern day Britain at that time had so dated and become so dated, you know? Belching the whole of Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> That's your party piece. And of course, all those rebels are now part of the establishment, aren't they? Queen's Jubilee and all that. Yeah, they're <laughs> champagne <laughs> socialists. <laughs> they, they, ben, Benji. And there are no gags in this that are really Get out of town. things that people wouldn't know. By rights, mm. by rights, you know, if you, if you look at Ben Elton's move forward, <laughs> Robin <laughs> Doug should be doing musicals of Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? They were cut from the same oak tree, weren't they? Happy Families was the same time as um, uh, as those guys doing the old carrot. About 86, yeah. Old carrot. Happy yeah. Seven oh, he just doesn't want me to think he's the ship's bike. But I'm getting the signs. <laughs> he crossed his legs and made pretty damn sure I saw he was wearing sock suspenders. <laughs> oh, Rimmer, he's not interested. Maybe not now, but wait till I hit him with the worm-do line. <laughs> hmm? Su Suzanne Batiste really did you very well, didn't she? She did very well. You know, she was very good. Oh, I am one mean turkey. Do you dance? <laughs> To a dance. Does Carmen Miranda wear fruit? This was good. <laughs> Does Carmen Miranda wear fruit then? Yeah. Is that a musical? No, Carmen Miranda was a performer. Was she? And she had she a big well headdress. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. Fruit, fruit, fruit headdress. Yeah. yeah. Dan, you say that was speeded up, but I mean the original dance had to be good to make yeah. that effective. Yeah. It still had to be a good dance. Well, yeah. It was. It was. Oh no. <laughs> 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 Ah, well, what do you think? Huh? But you know, in life, you're either a dog man or a cat man. Well, that's it. I'm a dog man. Yeah. Have I you mean, got a dog? I've got a dog, yeah. Daddy, what is it again? Yeah, I'd say... Chocolate we're... Labrador. A chocolate Labrador. Mm. Holly, like something from Cadbury's. When can we get out of here? Um, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a little bish on freeze. We did okay. have a German Shepherd dog, but unfortunately... Um, exactly what we're doing. What's that mark? He wasn't getting on too well with the child, so we had to. That's what oh, we so you, did. You didn't we, get rid of the child. We he had a German dog. Shepherd as well, a Snow White one. We called him Mr. Freeze, which was unfortunate because if we had a, a bishop, because we had a bishop freeze afterwards, and I was going to call him Mrs. Freeze, but never mind, I didn't. But it's yeah, surely it a little sad. toy dog. He was the nicest dog in the world. But yeah. If there's any any slight sign of, you know, malcontent, <laughs> then you've got to get rid of them. And he was growling a little bit. At, uh, at the, He'd at be child, jealous so. as well. He'd be very jealous. <laughs> Seeing two men together might turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you sleeping? I'm not telling you. It's too risky. Come on. What are you, a man or a munchkin? <laughs> I'm off to see the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you ready then? OK? After three. Three. <laughs> Beat yet. I love having that, that lager spat in my face yeah, there. Yeah, I bet you did. I do all my own stunts. <laughs> you always did. Where's the tea bag now? Show me. There, floating underneath. 
The round tea He's bag. talking about this new tea bag, round tea bag. Oh, is it? Was it like I a don't know. What, what, what's the difference between a bloody tea bag that's round well, or square? Well, they do pyramid triangle. models now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm just what? saying, there's a tea bag underneath the red dwarf. It's so that water can infuse the tea. Mm. Okay. That's why you're always drinking tea. Hey, what's going on there, boy? I've just had myself. It's not the first time, it won't be the last time. I can remember betting you that I could climb the disco wall using only my lips. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh, God, I juggled the goldfish, didn't I? <clears throat> I was like that at the England-Argentina game. <laughs> Are you a bit squiffy, yeah? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, hey, we did, didn't we? You pieces of filth. <laughs> How could you commit an act of carnal knowledge? In my bunk, on my sheets, using my springs. How could you even contemplate making love to yourself? <laughs> well, why break a habit of a lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> well delivered, sir. Leave it out. Oh, Slightly God, angled out to the so audience so? just to give them the facial, you know? That give them the full benefit of that Full one. benefit, <laughs> mate. Oh, hey, thanks a lot. I hope you get pregnant. No offence, man, but you're not exactly Mr. Difficult to pull, are you? Talk about pushover. Well, that's rich coming from Miss Yo-Yo Knickers. <laughs> Yo-Yo Knickers. <laughs> the old classic. Uh, one I remember well. You cheap little tart. You what? A uh, him? How can he get pregnant? Well, if they didn't use precautions, he could be up the spout. <laughs> but it's women who get pregnant. Since when? Since always. My mother was a woman. Ooh, Ooh Listy. Yes. Yeah, that was a... That was a, a Ooh, Listy. <laughs> oh, Listy. I that was a precursor to the old oh, Listy, Listy, yes. Listy. Yes. <laughs> the babies. And as we are in their universe, you could very well possibly be up the duff, laddie. <laughs> Come on, I'm not buying this. This is a wind up. Don't get emotional, not on your condition. <laughs> it's impossible. I haven't got the the equipment, have I? <laughs> of course you have. You're in our universe. Our physical law applies. Shut up. Ollie, tell me this isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> You always obey Magnet the way, and you know me. Do what? Fertilise me, take advantage of me. No one, I was drunk, I didn't have precautions. And of course, we're running up towards our gag to follow yeah. up in the next series. It's true. It's the man who gets pregnant. It's the man who has to suffer the agony of childbirth. Agony? This is <laughs> <bad. laughs> well, what do you want me to do? I'm sorry, okay? Sorry? That's it, sorry. Wham, bam, thank you, mister. <laughs> well, there's no point standing around arguing about it. If it's happened, it's happened. Yeah, we better get back. I'll fix the hot drive. No, we can't go now, Hall. She can be the father of my child. I feel that whatever has happened is happened. Yeah, Could be happened. Be. Is that it? Is it here? Yeah. Is it here? Just because it's possible for you to get pregnant, it doesn't mean you're necessarily... No, not. that's not. Isn't, it? Isn't that parallel? That's it from the first series. <laughs> Baby scout. <laughs> but then again, you might not. <laughs> we'll find out when we get back, won't we, Listy? Engaging Holly. Have you still got your little scutter that they made for no, you? Yeah. No, Have you got yours? I gave it somewhere. To... I gave it to a red dwarf. My my um uh, a neighbour red dwarf. Oh. My, um, I I still got, you got yours still, Craig? My should. daughter broke mine. It's still got it, was broken. My daughter broke it. This is just not possible. Why is it not possible? Male baboons have given birth. They were doing that as far back as the 20th century. Oh, a little, little rear reference there. Oh, eh? I love that when you go. <laughs> Obviously, you'll be in good hands. The scutters will be able to handle a simple caesarean. <laughs> I wouldn't let them open a can of beans. <laughs> You're thinking too negative. Think of all the glorious, beautiful, wondrous things about having children. Like? Like when they grow up and leave home. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of 18 to 20 years yeah, in the middle, it, which, uh, it, which is <laughs> painful. And red for pregnant. Yeah. Come on, you red! <laughs> what colour is it now? Uh, it's still white. Oi. I've just had a thought. Remember when we broke the light barrier and saw those echoes from the future? Yeah. 
And we saw your future self. No, future echoes. Was future future echoes. And I yeah. said, how is it possible to get two babies without a woman on board? And you said, I don't know. We've probably already been corrected a billion times mm. by people watching this, which is fair enough. Yeah, no, fair enough. I, mean, just, I have. We're just, like, watching it and seeing what we can remember. Huge heads. <laughs> <laughs> it's changing colour. What colour? Yes, it is. It's changing colour. Yeah, but what colour? The thing is, we're supposed to be commentating on it, but we get sucked in and just start yeah. watching the story, don't you? Yeah, I think is, we have in this one, yeah. Which is good in a way, because it proves that it's had, you know, longevity, do you know what I mean? It's sort of like, you know... 27.30. So that was the... You know, 27.30 on. Short. Mm -hmm. That came in early, didn't it? Yeah. Relatively. Which is good. And that was that we said goodbye to you, Norman. He never came back. Goodbye. Extended, extended holiday, mate. Well, I did come back. Yeah, but like not for a ten uh, years. You hung around. Ten years later. later. Yeah, I mean. A decade later. <clears throat> well, we needed you, mate. We we're struggling, and we thought, no, we've got to get the comedy master back. Goodbye, right. everybody. Hope Good. you're enjoying these credits. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Goodbye. See you Goodbye, in series everyone. three. See you then. Turn the light out. Everybody's been invited to Norman's.